Okay. Call out three. Except I did not I did not return the next day after the first time. So I was planning on um doing it again afterwards, but at the same time at the same time. <laughs> Just, I guess I just, uh, I was just sore and, uh, decided not to do that and, uh, pretty much spent, um, a few hours in bed. But, um, anyway, and besides the rest of the week, I've been doing stuff, so. I've been I've been trying. I've been trying to get on a on some kind of stream schedule or something. I did also think about streaming uh PUBG, but I also thought about uh should I should I do PUBG or should I do Fallout 3 again? And I just waited. I just waited to do this cuz that was just like, eh, would I, would I just randomly start a stream for PUBG, or would I actually just, you know, go back to Fallout 3 again, when I was actually, uh, I guess, I guess ready to do it, question mark? I mean, I could've, but like, yeah, I don't know about that, but anyway. Regardless, now I shall load Capital Wasteland Auto. Okay, I see. Yeah, because I saved after getting out of the vault, so. I shall. I shall go out here now. Because I have done the, I guess, opening sequence, or whatever, but did already try this, the fun times, trying to get over the mountains. Oh. 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 Hey, there we go. Now I'm up here. And is there anything up here? You know what, did I get... I forgot I collected all this armor and stuff. Um, I did get the... I do have the BB gun. I do have the BB gun. Just not all the BBs that I was trying to obtain when I was forced to kill the Rad Roach, even though it was a friendly Rad Roach. How could I... How could I do such a thing? It was only... It was only hostile when, uh when I shot at it, so. And What the heck? Please enter the name of the transition. Swipe. Cancel. Okay, OBS. Please. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Anyway. Greetings from Point Lookout, straight from the land of warm beaches and luscious wetlands comes the Duchess Gambit, the finest vessel on the east coast, piloted by Tobar and Ferryman. And to the hungry masses of the capital wasteland, he brings the hearty Punga fruit, a delicious and nutritious uh, addition to your daily meal. Its tangy taste is the most refreshing meal in the world. Find the Punga Fruit at your local merchant now or buy straight from the source at the Duchess Gambit now docked south of the Citadel. Special bonus. Hey adventurers itching to find Point Lookout's treasures for yourself. Talk with Tabar to book passage back to this land of mystery. Okay. Okay. 
there anything up here? Um, but uh, I don't really know much, I guess, about Fallout 3, really, besides, like, some of the DLC stuff. And even then, like, it's not so much remembering, it's just kind of vaguely recalling what any of it is about, so, um, yeah. But I guess that's, uh, that's why I chose to do this. Because I've never even played it, so I have no clue. Go to the objective? I think I'm just gonna go to whatever this is over here. Oh! NPC? Question mark? Not enemy? Oh! Okay. Hello, pal. Wasteland merchant. It's alive. The wasteland is reborn. What is it? What did you see? What are you crazy or something? Tell the wasteland is as dead as you're going to be if you don't tell me the truth. What? Okay, I don't know what's going on here. What is it? What did you see? I saw life. Life is returning to the waste. The Great One brings it to all of us. Oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna turn up the voices. This is the new Fallout 76 season update. Um, I... no. <laughs> no. I have not played Fallout 76, so I don't know anything about that game either. But, this is not Fallout 76. I did see a little bit of the game be played, but I don't really know much beyond... Uh... Combat, I guess. Combat and... Interesting spawn... Locations for NPCs and such. I don't really know. Music. Radio. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oof. Oh. Died. I didn't even... Oh. Okay. Well, I'll take this to repair the other one. Roving trader hat. Roving trader outfit. Wasteland Merchant Note. Okay, items, weapons, pistol. Pistol, repair. This. Okay. Now I am not over... over encumbered. Roving Trader Outfit, Barter 5. Oh, these both give barter plus five, okay. <laughs> there he is. Okay. Oh, I got the hat. Do I still do have the other hat for perception plus one? Tinted reading glasses. So my character... My character is Jerry the race car driver. I don't think Jerry had glasses. Jerry the race car driver. A very a very sick song. Uh with nachos and nachos and muscle car. Okay. Hunting rifle. Four, five. You should get the monthly sub Fallout first when you do play it. I don't know if I'm going to play it, to be honest. I don't really know. Police batons. Because, like, here's the thing. The only Fallout game I've actually played is New Vegas. 
I have not even played Fallout 4 yet, uh, or anything like that, so... Um, I do have it, though. I do have Fallout 4. So, after this game... Uh, that probably... That's probably the thing. But Todd needs a new beach house. I don't know. No, I don't know anything about his financial financials. His thing, money. Uh. But Todd needs a new beach house. I mean, hey, if he does get new beach house. I mean, okay. Oh, wait. Settings. See, I forgot about this. Um, display. Crosshair. I think there's a setting to... Audio. Action mapping. I think there's a setting to get the... Like... To aim down the site. Or at least I thought there was. I think in New Vegas there is. It's like true iron sights or something, or maybe it's a mod that I just don't remember using. Mouse some action mapping. Yeah, I thought there was. I I did think. What about New Vegas? See, yeah, yeah, I've, I've played New Vegas. I've played New Vegas. I have indeed played New Vegas. It's, um... See, here's the thing, though. If I played New Vegas again, I've already, I've played it, so, like... I don't really know if I'd have much to say about the game, but I might. I might. That's the only thing, is like, if I was gonna, if I was gonna play New Vegas, yeah, I would, I would play it, but like, if I was streaming New Vegas, I kind of already know, I guess like, the, the story and stuff, so like, do a melee only run. Um, yeah, that could be spicy, I could do melee only and like, go fight Death Claws and like, <laughs> and like, uh, die in two seconds. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty sick. Oh yeah, and then do it on hardcore so then I restart every single time. That's a, that's a pretty sick idea. Cause like, I fought Death Claws in New Vegas and I went to like the Death Claw cave or whatever it is and just, I tried, I tried. I was just like, repeatedly dying and using a rocket launcher to try to blow them all up. I would just keep repeatedly just reloading the save. Because I wasn't playing on hardcore, so... Have you played The Outer Worlds? Yes, I have played The Outer Worlds a little bit. I haven't completed the game yet or anything. But I did start it. You know, I didn't even think about that, because I did start it I just didn't finish it on stream, because, like, I was having some technical difficulties with the game, but I did, since then, get a another processor, so I could try, I could try it again, but I have not, I didn't even think about it, I, like, I haven't even opened the game since then, so, I don't know if I hit or not. I think- I don't think I'm hitting. Uh-oh. Raider. Please. What does the Raider have? Critical strike on Raider. Please no more. Where did they go? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. No more. Oh, did they drop the gun? What do they have? No more. Okay. Okay. Pistol. I have 231 bullets. Okay. Thirty-two caliber round. 
32 pistol. Isn't the hunting rifle a... Okay, yeah, the hunting rifle is 32, so... Oh, and the condition is zero, literally. Okay, so I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna pick that up. I think I'll just let them have that. I'm doing... <laughs> I'm not doing... I'm not going to, like, the quest marker. What is... what is even my quest? Follow in his footsteps. I'm already just, like, fighting raiders. Hey, thanks for the follow. Is my follower noise not... I don't even think I heard the follower noise. So I don't know if it's even functioning. But, yeah, I have played The Outer Worlds some. I'm gonna go see... There's another enemy down here. Is it another raider? Please. Oh, It's two. What? Is that a grenade? Ow. Please, no more. S is... Yeah, okay. Please. Okay. I do have stim packs. And... Mentats and Medex and... Rognak the Barbarian? Melee weapons increased by one. Okay. Wait, that just gives plus 20? It doesn't even, like... It's not like an overtime effect, it's just plus 20. Oh, okay. I'll just drink those then. <laughs> I didn't know that. Because like in New Vegas, it's a heal over time, not a plus 20, you know, health, like, instant. So, um... I'll, <laughs> I'll give you pre-war money, stop hitting me, please. Hey. Ooh, got a feisty one. Ooh, got a feisty one. <laughs> no more. What did you have? Tire iron. Raiders pain spike armor. No thanks. I'll continue with my raving raving merchant outfit. I have one bullet in the hunting rifle. I'll switch back to the pistol. There was another one, I thought. Was... Okay, I thought that was like a... mutated bug or something. A bug. I'm going up there. Go this way. Hello, pals. Can we not? Oh. Okay. What do you have? I missed. Okay. Search. Junk food, knife, raider, blast master armor. 10 millimeter round. Chinese pistol. Oh, this uses 10 millimeter. Damage 2. Damage 5. Okay. I'll take it though. Let me check. Can I repair it with a 10mm pistol though? Oh no, I can't. That's unfortunate. When's the 24 hour stream? Okay, pal. I don't know about that one either. That's a, that's a little bit of spicy. Maybe, maybe I would do a 12-hour stream at this current moment. Maybe a 12-hour, but I don't know about a 24-hour. Jeez, please. Oh, jeez, please. Oh, jeez, please. What do you have? Bottle cap and pool cue. And also some armor, but... If, is this like... Am, 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 uh, okay. Um, Raider Saddest Armor, Tyron. Some streamer you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... What is this? Sniper Rifle. 
I'm almost like AP them some streamer you are <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry 24 hours 24 hours yeah I don't know about that one that's that's a little bit spicy Don't be sorry, do better. Do better. I mean, I, I try, I try. I mean, like, I don't even have a stream schedule, really, so, um... Doing a 24-hour stream... Like, I guess, hypothetically, that would be more consistent than, you know, like, streaming once every... <laughs> Streaming once every like week or two weeks or something, but it's like uh, I don't know if I'm I would have like I don't know if it would be the mental capacity or the like the physical physical energy you want your follow back then. Hey, you don't have to you don't have to follow the channel if you don't want to. <laughs> I mean, if it's not if it's not what you like and enjoy, it's not something that you have to, you know, like you don't have to feel obligated to do anything, you know. I'm just <laughs> I'm just that's all I'm trying to do is entertain and if I'm not entertaining, then you don't have to like you know, do anything. Security. Like, I'm not gonna force people to, you know, do anything, so... Drop one. Um, weapons. This, so that's 80. Value 1. Value 7. So, like, I think armor is still... Minus the security armor. Jumpsuit, jumpsuit, jumpsuit. I'll just drop one of these jumpsuits. Oh, or two of these jumpsuits. Because, like... Or wait, can I repair these? No. That's unfortunate. Utility jumpsuit. Yeah, I'll just drop... This, this, aid, metahex, stim packs. Oh, okay, there's another raider. I'm just gonna stim pack. See, if there wasn't another raider, I would just be hitting T to wait, but there is another raider, so. Hey, oh. police. Is that... Is that it? Am I able to... Oh yes I am, okay. I'm just gonna wait for health. Unless an enemy comes this way and then... I'm no longer waiting for health. Oh, does that not work? I'll just wait... I'll just wait 24 hours in game. Does that work? It might only heal me if I sleep or something, but... I'll see. I'll see. Am I gonna be okay? Are my wounds not going to be fatal? Oh, okay. I don't know if I even healed at all. I don't remember what my health was. Is this a location? <laughs> Am I discovering anything by being up here except for, like, damage? Okay. I'll just go across the bridge. Is there more raiders? Oh, I think there is. Okay. Um. Am I able to cross? Ooh, hey! Okay. Another one down below. 
Pack of cigarettes. Value 10. Psycho psychotic helmet. Last master armor. X. Okay. Caution. Ooh! Oh boy, okay. <laughs> uh oh. And I think I just lost the stuff I had. Oh no, wait, wait. Yes, I did wait. I waited at the location, so is that autosave? Yes. I think that's autosave. So I do have an autosave here with stuff. Stim pack. Okay, I did use the stim pack, I think. Peril. How are my stats? Nothing's crippled yet. So. Save them. I have the sniper rifle still. You know what? I can use the sniper rifle. How much does this do? 17. I'll just see if I can hit them from back here. Go on top of the truck. I'm able to do that. Just gotta like run around it and find somewhere where I can stand on it. Or maybe not. There we go. Just gotta get some momentum first. Okay, I see him. Okay. I think that was the flamer one. So now... I'll reload this. So then I have all the ammo in the mag. Okay. And I'll get the 10mm pistol back out again. And just spam fire as much as I can. Hey. No, 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 no. No more of that, please. There it is. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that, but... I mean, I guess I did, but I didn't. I was trying to do critical damage. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, flamer value 62, but the damage is 40. But the weight is 15. Well, I'll take the fuel. Take the cigarettes. Weapons. What am I able to drop? I can drop the other 10mm pistol, which is 3. Baseball bat. Hunting rifle. 6. This takes 308. This takes 32. Um, pistol. Drop one of the police batons. That's weight 2. So I dropped 5 pounds. Or whatever. 5 weight. Just five weight, it's not in pounds or kilograms or or anything like that. So Tinted reading glasses. I don't snake. Um this is oh okay, this is all the way. But, mm. Keep two of those. If it was KG, you'd be a very strong man. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. 184, yeah, that's like... If you doubled that for pounds, yeah. Well, even, like, even 184 pounds, like, to carry that everywhere, not just, like, you know, like, bench press or, like, deadlift or whatever, like, 184 pounds that you're always carrying. So I don't know what the weight is. That's, that's, uh... Definitely not something I would be able to do. <laughs> it's uh it's it's quite a quite a carry. Oh wait, that's right. Um flamer. <laughs> yeah. Elder Scrolls have this problem too. You can carry 30 battle axes. 
<laughs> just a, just a few, just uh, you know, at least two, at least two. Chinese pistol. Kind of want to keep the Chinese pistol. So like, what else can I drop? Eyeglasses and literally no weight. Um, this is one, two. Tunnel snake outfit. Could never. I could never drop the tunnel snake outfit. Butch gave it to me after I saved his mom. I could never drop it. Jumpsuit value. These are all like one. Security armor. Oh, the security armor is like 15 pounds. Slash 15 weight. 15 weight. What else could it be? How much is... How much is stone? If you were... If you are weighing in stone to... Whatever this is. I don't even know, like, where they use that measurement. Or, yeah. Weight scale. Um... Security helmet? 101 security armor. I was just picking these up for the sell value, I guess. I don't know stones, but I think it would be a lot too. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I haven't even thought about that. Stones are used in Ireland? That's what I was thinking. I just... I'm not really sure. It makes me think of... It actually makes me think back to Stalker, because like... In Stalker... You could carry maybe two, two or three, like, assault rifles, I think, or something. Not like, you know... <laughs> like, it makes me think you're carrying an armory in, in Fallout compared to, like, Stalker, where it's like, you carry maybe a few weapons or so, and it's, that's pretty much it. If you carry anything else more, it's, like, it's kind of inventory management for basically the rest of the game. At least how I play it, because, like, I'm used to playing Fallout, so I just carry as many things as possible with me. At least, at least the things that I think are more, uh, like, damaging overall, I guess. There would be so much item hauling and stashing slash selling in this game without the weight system. So I'm glad you can carry a lot. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like, that's kind of a thing I do like about Stalker is just that it feels more realistic that you're not carrying this much stuff, but at the same time, like, I guess Fallout wouldn't be the same, I feel like, without, you know, being able to carry as much stuff. Makes for better gameplay, yeah. Like, Stalker... Stalker is actually one game that I will play on the hardest difficulty because it actually feels it feels realistic but like to play these games on a harder difficulty I feel like it might be you know just like not realistic at all Stalker 1 um yeah uh Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl I mean I don't know if something came before that but Shadow of Chernobyl was the game that I started playing. I do have Call of Pripyat and a... Uh, oh, what is it called? I can't remember the name now. Call of Pripyat and... Clear Sky, that's what it is. Good game, I think the first one is the best one. Yeah. ESP the last hour of the game. <laughs> yeah. I have not modded the game yet with Stalker. I have modded New Vegas, but not Stalker. Because, like, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played through Stalker yet, so I still was just experiencing the game as is, and uh, that might be something to do later, unless I just, like, don't ever finish the game. Because, like, I was trying to do all the side stuff first. But, like, I think I have 30 to 40 hours in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, like, into the... Like, recorded in the game to the campaign, I guess. Or story, whatever you want to call it. But, like, I think I played more hours than that in uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, so... 
But like that's his, that's the saved like my save game amount of time it says is like 30 to 40 hours. And I still haven't finished it yet. Like I feel like that has been one of the like one of my favorite uh RPG type of games in a while. And that's the thing, it's like one of those games that I don't know if it was intended to be scary or anything like that, but I actually like I feel like it's been one of the games that actually kind of scares me. I guess it could be just the situations that uh I get into in the game, like not so much scary as in like yeah, yeah, ambience. Oh yeah, the the ambience and the uh the way the AI works in that game actually cuz like I don't know what to expect. You know, it's it's like actually going up against someone i guess in in like a wasteland uh kind of it's you know i don't know when they're gonna rush i don't know when they're gonna take cover i don't know when they're gonna actually you know do anything <laughs> and since i'm playing on master it's like i think it takes maybe a couple to a few shots to die and it's like uh it's a little bit spicy sometimes but it's also still fun I mean, <laughs> the thing is, too, you can save literally anywhere, no matter what, which is a real fun time. Because enemies don't, they don't spawn in the same location they were in the last time you, you know, load the save. So it's, it's different every time, which I actually, like, it's not so different to the point where it's like, they're going to spawn at me, like, on me. But it's, you know, it it feels like, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of fair, because, like, I'm just loading a save randomly back where I was, and if I didn't see the enemies, it's like, the AI and Stalker is so-so, but that was the case of games in that era. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. Thinking about it now, comparatively, like, looking at Stalker and Fallout, I think, like, Stalker feels like the AI was more... more realistic, to be honest. Because, like... Yeah. Yeah, I don't even think... Do enemies really take cover in this game? At all? Or do they, like, really slow down to, you know, like... You know address the situation I guess like I don't know how AI really works but like I feel like if if there was more of that in this game or well any of these games I would maybe like them more I mean Skyrim even a much newer game has worthless AI the AI does take cover in stalker in this game they just kind of Okay, they just hide shortly. Very bad enemy co-op. Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe that's why I like this game, though, because it's just like... It's just, you know, they're always, they're always coming at you. It's just kind of, you don't... In, the, in that sort of sense, you might not know what to expect, because they switch from melee and uh, their guns, like, I guess based on ammo? Do the AI even, like... I don't know if they really have ammo, per se. They just kind of do it to make it seem like that, but I don't really know. I did have a mod to, like, uh, give unlimited ammo to companions in <laughs> New Vegas, but that was after I'd already beaten the game, like, two or three times, so I was like, eh. This looks like fun, because, like, you can give them any weapon at all, and they'll just go and go and use it. <laughs> so. Okay, well, I think that was the adventure over the overpass. I don't really know if there's anywhere to get from this location. I thought maybe I'd discover something if I went up here, but I guess not. I guess not. Besides the raiders. The Raiders and the Snipe Rifle. That's what I got from this. So. I'm gonna get out. Get off this overpass and go find some other fun things.
Because, like, I didn't even do the first quest thing yet that it's telling me. Like, the quest- well, the first quest thing outside of the vault. I have not even done yet, so... But, like, since I played Stalker, kind of exploring things is... is the thing I do, I guess, rather than just... Oh yeah, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go do the story right away, you know? Because, like, I used to sort of do that with New Vegas, but even then I was like... I want to do everything that is to the side first before I get further into the game and don't have the choice to do it again. So, uh, what's down here? Here we go. Here we go. Just Galaxy News Radio found. Okay. Let's see, I don't know. So, the first stream I did, I already got like a copyright warning slash whatever like your video will be demonetized or it will be monetized by them because you had uh i don't want to set the world on fire that's what it was because it was the intro and i i was already like talking over the introduction but it still it still picked up and it still gave me like a a warning about it so you know your video may still have ads even though it's not monetized so I don't know about having music. I mean... <laughs> I could follow the recommendation that I did get before for a channel, like 99 Lives or whatever. It's, uh... I think it's, like, royalty-free. Kind of, like, you do whatever with it. But... I don't know. It's not usually stuff I listen to, so... I just haven't used it. Where the heck? Oh, hey. Hello again. I bought. Hey, pal. This is President Enclave, I bought. And I was hoping we could talk. It's time we discuss something. In game music is fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that, like the ambience settings. Audio. Does music. Does that affect the. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. I'll just do that. I can just have the ambience turned up. Reroll War Arch Troller Outfit. You have radio with five different five different songs too. See that that's the thing. If they're so that's the thing. If it's like copyrighted, it's gonna get whatever. You know. Yeah, here's a notice or whatever. I just I haven't come across any, like, I don't know if I'll get DMCA'd or anything like that, but, you know, I also want to try to avoid that if I can, as much as I can, anyway. Value 50, weight 2. Unarmed, increased by 1. Yeah. See, that's the thing, because, like, the in-game music can still be picked up as that. The ambience is, you know, I just turned up the music for that, but... Like, I don't, I don't know if I should avoid it or not at this point, but, like... Because I don't want to have, you know, I don't want to have ads on anything, and... Like, I really don't want to have people, you know... Because, like... Like, I'm almost... I'm almost tempted to say, Oh, just use adblock on my videos and stuff, because, like, if I get a copyright notice or whatever, that's not on me. Like, I didn't want people to have to watch ads to watch my content, so... And it's not like I intend to infringe on anyone's work or anything like that. It just happens. Because of the music in games and stuff. Like, that that's not ever my intention. I don't want to, like, you know, go against someone's work or anything like that. Because, like, you know, I, I appreciate, like, I play the games and I listen to the music and I try to enjoy it myself, but, you know, to try to do that in stream, it's like, uh, well, copyright notice, you don't own this, so... 
Like, I'm all for supporting them and whatever else. Please steal this digital video, too. Oh, vid video... Lol, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Letter from vault Tech. I forgot I got another... Letter. Notes. Wasteland Merchant Note. Oh yeah, this is from the... The, uh, quote-unquote, raving merchant. Trading Caravan Log. By tomorrow I should reach the Green Mountain. The people there may be weirdos, but hey, they trade great stuff for the weapons and ammunition, so who am I to complain? Last time I was there, they told me that someone named the Great One wanted to speak to me, and that I should drink some of their homemade hooch and join them in some kind of ceremony. I'll probably take them up on it this time. I haven't had a good drink in a while, and I'm a day ahead on schedule. Okay. Oh, I... See, I do recall this, too. Please steal this digital video. <laughs> See, like, that's the thing. I, I don't, I don't intend to, but with the way that copyright works, you know, it's, it's something I do try to actively avoid. You know, getting anything. Uh, I guess um, detected or whatever. But it's like, please, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Gomez, congratulations on your family recent oh family's recent inclusion in the Vault 101 community. You'll find outlined in your application materials a full review of rules and procedures related to preparing for shelter in a Vault Tech facility. But we will outline a few key points here. Vault Tech provides all clothing, bedding, and accommodations for residents. Personal belongings must be reviewed and approved of by authorized Vault Tech hermetics technician before such belongings can be delivered to your reserved quarters within the vault. In the event of an emergency entrance to the vault, no personal belongings will be permitted beyond the main door of the facility. Alt Vault residents must attend an orientation seminar. If you did not attend such a seminar as part of the application process, you must make an appointment with your Vault Tech representative. In the event of a Vault activation, whether actual or drill, Vault Tech will sound a siren audible in the immediate vicinity of the Vault facility entrance, and residents will be contacted via holotape message at the phone number provided in their resident profile records. Please report promptly to Vault 101 to await admittance and processing upon such a notification. Vault Tech looks forward to having you and your family as valued residents. Be sure to present this letter to your Vault Tech representative to receive your special commemora commemorative Vault Boy bobblehead toy. Sincerely, Vault Tech, Department of Public Relations, Washington, D.C. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Gomez and their family, Vault Tech. Vault. Okay. Gotta follow the procedures or you don't get in. You've discovered Springvale School. Okay. Checking for cabinets or anything. Okay, what's in this building? Oh, this is... It's Spingve Elementary. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about... I didn't even think about what I was doing before I came in here. Okay, I have the pistol equipped. Flamer. Here we go. I think... This is not like the incinerator where it shoots the fireballs, I don't think. This is like... A stream of fire. Where the heck? Oh, hey! Oh, okay. Well... 
32 pistol. Knife, pack of cigarettes. Danger. Uh oh. Hey, hey. No more. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the flamer, to be honest. Even in New Vegas. And this is, uh. This is a fun time. Okay. Except I'm like. There we go. I don't know if I should be trying to preserve. Oh, right away. The stim packs. Oven. Like, I don't know how management of resources is in this game, but. Oh, okay. Two more stim packs. Like, I don't have anything else for healing, I don't think. Let me see. Salisbury steak, rads, rads. Because, like, I don't... I don't use anything that has radiation at all. So. Um, take a spicy look in here. Garbage can, empty. All doors. It's not like a medical box in here, but there is buff out. Jet. Another stim pack. Med X. Okay. What is buff out? Buff out. HP plus 60. Endurance plus 3. Strength plus 2. Okay. Damage 6. Damage 40. <laughs> That's the most damaging weapon I have. So. I think I'm going to try to preserve ammo for that. Um, baseball bat. Get the baseball bat and buff out. Well, I'm a little bit ahead and warm. I'm not... <laughs> Jerry. I'm not crippled yet, so... Here goes. As long as they don't have flamers or anything. Tear you apart. Yeah. They'll tear me apart. Yeah, tear them apart, okay. Rounds. Did he drop his Did he drop his gun. Hiding from me? Better hope, Hiding from me, better hope I don't find you. Oh, oh no. Please, please, sir. Not trying to uh I wouldn't fight if they weren't already hostile. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Who is that? Where did they go? They go around this corner or anything? Just gonna anything in these lockers? Oh, another any boxes in here? Garbage can is empty. Okay, there's not. Hey, 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 hey. Please, no more. Oh, hey. Does this, this door does close. Book got stuck in the door. Metal box empty. Metal box empty. Metal box empty. These might be all empty. Okay. Oh, this one had a carton of cigarettes. I can sell that eventually. Apparel. Still have... You know, I think I'm gonna preserve the one jumpsuit, and I'm just gonna get rid of... Oh wait, I have two of these, so I can just... There. Because once the buff out wears out, I won't have the carry capacity anymore. Metal box. Metal box. Pre-war... Oh, I didn't want the clipboard. Disc. Board. Baseball glove. Baseball. I didn't know I had that. Pre-war money. Oh, there it is. Stim pack under a book. Another stim pack. First aid box. There we go. And I'll drink the purified water. Because it's instant, instant health. 
Kind of like a stim pack, but... Okay. I don't know why, but this ambience is like reminding me of Black Ops 1, the main menu screen music. <laughs> oh, that goes down. Are they... are they not up... they might not be up here, they might be down there, and they still heard me somehow. 556. Is there a gun in here or something? Um... Oh, I can sleep! <laughs> Cannot sleep when enemies are nearby. Oh, that's too bad. Down here? Well, I guess I'm gonna go down. I mean, I don't know what else is... Oh, no, wait. There's the... the bars up here. What do the bars block? Cell door. Ooh. Oh, up there, too. Okay. I didn't know there was an upper section, either. I think I'm gonna save. I'll save in the cell. Out, look out. 32 pistol. Oh, I leveled up. Speech. 50. I didn't know my speech skill was that high. Well. 40. 40. Melee weapons. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll increase them. Because why not? Intense training. And I'll do I'll do one of the strength because I took one off for charisma or something. I think I put a point into charisma after I did intense training the one time. Maybe it was Perception. I don't really know what I traded off for, but... Now that's up to five, considering I'm using melee right now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, none of those are active. Come on, boys! Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh. It's oh. Proud of state fit today, hero. Oh! Fuck! Ah. I crippled their arm. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. We got. Buff out is worn out. Okay. I did it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Stim pack. Ammo. A library key. Ten millimeter pistol. They're still alive. Knife. I've used I think two two or so. Oh, there we go, another buff out. This this might just be melee in here. As long as they're not using another flamer, like the ones that were up on the overpass, Nuka Cola, it has rads. Large burn. Um. Lunchbox. Mentats. Oh, stim packs. Oh, dirty water. Oh, dirty water. Oh, wait. Oh, my weight is up to. Oh, I increased the strength. I forgot I did that. 
So I'll take the lunchbox then. I forgot I increased my strength by a by a special point. So that it actually does let me carry more, I guess. I forgot that's what it was for. <laughs> Because when I think strength, I just think melee weapons. So, I don't so much think about carry weight. Oh, caution. I think they have a dog. Uh, Hearing those damn noises again. Those noises again, okay. Rat away, stem pack. What am I? General. There we go. Rad resist, 10%. Perfect. Merchant outfit, barter plus 10. Okay. Get back, you monkeys. I got first call of the goods. Get back, you monkeys. Okay. Oh, hey, pal. Uh -oh. I don't know how far back I'm gonna be. Oh, down here. I used the buff out already, so. Here goes. This is gonna be fun. Yep. There is. <laughs> Level up. Uh. I'm gonna tear you up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that's why. Oh. Bye. I'm just gonna get out of danger and put my points in. Hey friend. Oh, just stand still. Oh. No. Okay. Danger still. Buff out has worn off. Okay. Stim pack. Barrel. I have anything that will do speech plus two, barter plus five, melee weapon plus five. I'm not gonna use that. Well, I have six security armor, so sure, I'll use the security armor. Why not? room yet. When you turn up, you're dead. Oh hey, hey pal. Hey. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Greater head crippled. Okay, please. Please no more. Please no more. <laughs> now it's giving me the level up screen. <laughs> Okay, very good. Barter 50. Is that what I wanted to do? I don't think so. Put that to 40. Put that to 40. And then put melee weapons. That's what I did. Okay, intense training. Done. Strength. Now it, now it gave me the level up screen. There. Okay. What am I at? 93. I didn't realize how much this negated damage. Okay. 
dog meat. Is that okay? Journal Journal It Software 2072 Hagsoft user Suk me. <laughs> okay. Hit a goddamn hive of ants in the tunnel. Bastards ate seven of our best diggers before we could lock off the way in. Need to find some way to poison them so we can keep them digging and blast into the vault. If we don't get there soon, I think I'm going to end up like Bo Boppo. Except it won't be the sheriff popping me, it's gonna be my own men. Oh wait, I read this the last. There. There we go. <laughs> Boppo died like a bitch. He didn't have half a bad idea setting up in here. Oh, setting up here. We had a good thing going, picking off caravans and traders on their way into Megaton. He was stupid to try and raid the town. Dumbass deserved the bullet Sims put in his head. Anyway, there's sweeter water to be had here. Da that damn vault's what we should be trying to get into. Not that rag-ass town. If we can get in there, ain't none of us going to want again for the rest of our lives. 002. Some of the scabs got tired of digging the tunnel and started using mines to get into the caves. Not a half bad idea, the explosions damn near knocked the building apart. We got a new win window or two on the side of the building, haha. <laughs> I'm going to have some of the boys knock over a caravan for more explosives, but we'll have to use fewer in the blasts, or some assholes from Megaton will come looking. Disconnect user. Okay. Trying to get into a vault. Duck and cover. Need. Explosives increased by one. See, like... Okay, I didn't know things were like like that in this game. Basically like instant, you know, instant. You have you have the thing. You are getting this. Not so much like you know, use this for a temporary boost or whatever. It's like you actually are getting at least plus 1 on that trait skill. Whatever, but yeah. So that is different from New Vegas, I guess. Um, so now I do have 10 more carry weight. Oh, that's right. Um, HP 39. Yeah. Then pack. Ammo. Ammo. My buff out wore out, so I will use this. Oh. Oh, jeez. More, please. Oh, is that a shotgun? Oh, hey. Sawed off shotgun. Damage 24. Basement key. Raider mining log. Sawed off shotgun. Yeah, I'll take it. I have carry weight now. I have shells too from that now. Data notes. Springvale Raider mining log. Hit a goddamn hive of ants in the tunnel. Bastards ate. Oh wait. Oh. Okay, it's the thing that was on this this terminal. All right. Yep. Okay. So this is the person... I guess that's Sukmi. As their terminal... Uh, has them named. Empty. I think there were stim packs up here. So I think I'm gonna go get those. I can find where they are again. Oh, here we go. Buff out. 
Ten packs. Dirty water. Ten tats. There's the launch box. Do you have more carry weight now? Um, metal box, metal box. Oh, buff out. Coca Cola. Left that behind because rads. Other belt. I think I can wear that actually. Apparel. Thought I could anyway. Disc. Okay. Guess not. Do these functioning? Guess not. So I shall continue on to the basement. There's the basement, and then there's. I believe an upstairs, so... Get the gun out. Reload. I'm ready. Oh. Auto-saving. I'm gonna do a manual save here, too. I'll do it here, since I'm still in the school. Are there people down here still? Okay. Ooh, hey, pal. Oh. Well. Does that go outside? I'm just gonna continue down this corridor then. Missed. One more. Okay. Check what they had. Some 10 millimeter rounds, bottle caps. Ooh, another Chinese pistol. So now I can repair partially. Damage 5, damage 2 still. I'll just keep it. Until I get it repaired more. There we go. What is that? Ant? I'm gonna keep that door closed for now. Another Chinese pistol. Rounds, bottle cap, Chinese pistol. Okay. Maybe I can... Still damage too. Um Rad X, Rad X. Nothing in the metal box, nothing in that metal box, nothing in that metal box. <laughs> Buff out. Thought I saw something back here. Maybe not. Sensor module. I'll take the sensor module to sell. Dart. Dart. Weight. It doesn't have weight. Okay. I'll take it then. I mean, it doesn't have any weight, so... Brass knuckles. I think my baseball bat does, yeah, more damage than the brass knuckles. But our brass knuckles... Faster, or are they still the same speed? I'm gonna check that. Okay. Baseball bat. Yeah. Okay. Keep this out for now. Desk. I just can't. You can see me, I think, but I'm in here, so. Danger. Oh. 
There it goes. <laughs> can hear it walking away. Okay. Um, toolbox. Paint gun. Value 15. Well, I can open this now. Caution. Oh, my alarm's going off. Hey now. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Rick. Psycho jet toolbox sensor module. And now my carry weight is at max. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot you if you don't attack me. But uh oh. Does it have a name? Does it have a name? Hey. Okay, no, it doesn't. Giant worker ant. Ant mate. No thanks. Filing cabinet. This. Okay, pipes. Didn't see that it was empty. For room. See, so yeah, I can take this though. Oh, there you go. Have fun. Oh, there goes the other one too. Desk float. Float desk. Oh, okay. Anti gravity desk. Very, very sick. Wonder how how much of an expense that was for the anti gravity desk. New product of uh, new product of however uh, whatever year it is or was. Oh, it got s it looks like it got stuck on the wall. Another one? Oh. Ant meat. Ant meat. Ant meat. Ant meat. Okay, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try to use melee on them, as long as they don't, like, oh, well, I'll heal as well, because I'm down to 55. Buff out, I have three buff out. I didn't realize that either. Oh, hey. Please, no more. Frenzied. So can I collect these? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, here they come. Let's see. Weapons. No more. That's the ants then. Um, egg clutch. 
Ant meat. Ant meat. Can I get ant egg? Or is that not a thing? Maybe not. It's that noise. Up there. Is there anywhere for me to go down here? Just kill ants? To kill ants? I'll be up. I gotta get up there. I gotta see what's in there. Ooh! 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 Come on now. Gotta get momentum. Gotta get momentum. I don't know if I can get up there actually. I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay. I'm sorry, but... Sorry. One... I don't know if they actually stack and stay, but one... Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do it this way anyway. I'm gonna try to get up there at any any cost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ants. Yeah, and if they if they weren't hostile, I wouldn't fight them, but they were gonna attack me, so. I'm not really sure what else is down here on the other path. But I want to see if I can get up there. I'm going to try not to use the console. And if I can't get up this way, I'm probably not going to do that. So. I don't think. I don't know. Do they actually. I don't think they actually. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I'm walking on them. So. Okay. I guess I'll go back the other way and see what's there. Oh. Rocks. Okay. They're rocks. That is what is there. Well, I'll go back up and see. Because there was, I think, an upper area. Wait, did I go... Did I go to a different room? I don't think so. Okay. That door, I think, goes outside. So I'm going to try to go back up auto saving and now I'll do manual save here as well so I have a double save in the same area see if I can get up to that other place dog all the times all the times spent at this area The question is, how did the raiders... How did the raiders... Congregate? Is that how you... Is that a word to use for that? How did they do such a thing? Like... Cause they're just... They just attempted to kill me on sight, so like... How... How did they... Form a group? Vending machine, Nuka Cola, locker, garbage can. Okay, and those are all empty. Nuka Cola Quantum. Oh, I think I'm carrying. Yep. One over. One over. Aid. 
Misc. What do I have for misc? Carton of cigarettes, lunchbox, pack of cigarettes, scrap metal, sensor module, turpentine. I'll drop the turpentine? Uh, scrap metal, premium money. and then I can get back, but... Apparel. What do I have in my apparel here? Security armor. Uh, oh, okay, I have five other security armors. I'll drop this one. There we go, now I have 15 more. Wait. I don't know, cause like, I, I wanna try to sell those. I guess I could just go to <laughs> Megaton and do that, but... A... Misc. You know what? Yeah. There we go. I'll just drop two of those. I mean, what else? What else? Okay. Save here as well. And now see where I can where I can go. World map, Ringvale, Vault 101, Ringvale School. Let's see if I can find. Is there anyone out here? Like a trader or something? Oh, I don't think that house might be a place to go. Because it doesn't look like it's. Oh yeah, door to small ranch. Oh, person. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Who's... Oh, Moriarty? I don't know how to say that. Whoa, calm down. Who the hell is Moriarty? You better calm down before I put you down. Who's Moriarty? Colin Moriarty. The owner of Moriarty Saloon in Megaton. Moriarty? That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. Look, just give me the caps, I'll tell him you're gone. I don't know. Slow down, tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob, doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. No, 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 no. You know what? Keep your caps and I'll tell Moriarty you're gone. Look, just give me some of your caps. I'll tell him you're gone. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, no. Um, you know what? Keep your caps and I'll tell. Yeah. You do that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. You've gained karma. Yeah? Hello, what is it? Beautiful America. This is President Eden, and it's time what will you do now? You don't still offer your services, do you? What will you do now? Who knows? Shoot myself up till I forget who I am? The wasteland sucks, kid. Just get used to it. Uh, hey, you don't still offer your services, do you? No. Sorry. I've left that part of my life behind. Time for me to go. Turpentine. Let's go. 
I've lost karma. Oh no. Okay, well. Save. But not over the auto save. Just in case. There. Didn't even give me, like, the. I didn't even see the saving. Okay. Crash bin. Um, is there anybody else out here? Because I was looking, I was looking to see if I could find a trader before going to Megaton, but there may not be one here. Oh, here we go. These are fun, especially when there's NPCs around, because you can just push them into them and not get in trouble for killing them. Like they won't attack you or anything. Vending machine, Nuka Cola. I think that's Megaton up there. Oh, I'm loading in. This a rat? Oh no, skull or skull. Okay. Couldn't tell it first. Oh, radiation. Please, no radiation. Oh, there it goes. So does the do the doors close? Can I back up? Oh, stepping into radiation. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there's someone up there. I didn't realize that either. Try the brass lantern. Turbine powered doors. Partner. Try Moriarty's. Moriarty. Okay. The capital wasteland. At least that's how the Securitron says it. Oh, Deputy Weld. Welcome to. Get done. Enjoy your stay. Save here. Enjoy your before stay. I go in. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Thank you, Deputy Weld. I will try my best to have a wonderful time. Oh, hey. Hello. That's a sick gun. House key. Well, I just came in. Let me just take your ammo and house key. Hey, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I have it now. I'll just save because I I have that now. <laughs> Didn't even talk to him. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. <laughs> Calamity Jane. I think... I think there might have been a reference to that... And New Vegas as well. I don't re remember though. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. Message received. You don't scare me. Say nothing. Right. Message received. 
I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him. Could use some directions around town. Let's discuss this bomb. Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? Tell me more about your town. Um... <laughs> Tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? Why is the town called Megaton? Does the town have a doctor? Know where I can get a drink. Why is the town called Megaton? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off yet. Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? Who would build a town around a bomb? That's crazy. One day the thing is going to go off, you're living on borrowed time. Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Whatever, I don't plan on sticking around for very long anyway. If that bomb ever explodes, it'd be doing the world a favor. Oh. I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, alright. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps. caps. Oh. Demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. 100 caps, alright, I'll take a look at it. Not my problem. Good luck, Sheriff. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. Alright. Now I'm helping you. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. I can use some directions around town. I'm not sure I can disarm the bomb. Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. There are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City, but don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. Now I'm helping you, maybe you could help me, I'm looking for my dad. Well come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Don't blow us up now. Don't blow us up yeah. now. Hey, I didn't. Mind your manners now. Okay. Save. Alright. Saloon, Sheriff, Clinic, Commons, Luxury Apartment. Well, I have the Sheriff's key now. I could just go and do that. Megaton You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Craterside Supply. Craterside Supply. Is that marked on this? Clinic. Saloon is this way. This is... So, what's this? Oh. <laughs> Use the house key I just got. Very good. Hello now, I am in your house. Is there anyone else here to say hi? Also, I don't lower the music, I think. Because I think it's louder than... The, the voice, even though voice is all the way up as well. Refrigerator. Is your refrigerator running? Better catch it. Hee <laughs> hoo hoo. Um. 
toy car. Books. Medical brace. Does that actually work? Items. I know, I didn't even think about it. Um, okay, no, it doesn't look like. Mm, but wait. I think some things in Misk still do something, even if they say they don't. Key ring. Aid. 30. Takes up one weight. Eyeglasses. Oh, roving trader. I thought it was raving trader. Roving trader. Okay. Jerry was a race car driver. Security helmet, security armor. What is the medical brace worth? Ten. I think the same. Back door. Oh. Just caps, okay. It's essential to give your arguments impact. Your strength has been permanently increased by one. Wait, does that mean... Like this? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Now I have all six and then seven for charisma. Sick. Dandy apples, fancy lads, snack cakes, sugar bombs, earnings clipboard, sledgehammer. Okay. Items. Weapons. Baseball bat, damage 7. How much does the sledgehammer do? Damage 11, but weight 12. Yeah, um... 26. 20. Okay. I'll come back for it. <laughs> I'll just put it down there. So then, when I come in, I can see it. I know what, where did I put the, where did I put the turpentine? Dropped it, but where did it drop off to? Did it drop down there? Oh wait, did I go in, no I did not go in here. Teddy bear, hunting rifle, okay. I'm repairing mine now. There we go. Oh, I can carry more. I didn't even... It didn't even register, because I got the one... The one strength, so now I can actually... Uh, but that... The sledgehammer is still... It's still 12, so... Not that, but where did I put the... Where did I put the turpentine? Right here. There we go. I'm just gonna go Good sell. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm just gonna go sell this stuff. If I can find the place. Supplies, saloon, okay, supplies is this way too. Water processing plant, oh. Okay, is this something, a quest thing to do? Rad's five. Hey. Hey there! Leo Stahl. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure! Yeah. Who's in charge around here? What are you doing in here? What do you do for fun around here? Can you tell? What can you tell me about Megaton? What's the word around town? What can you tell me about Megaton? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. 
Uh, what do you do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Oh. What are you doing in here? Nothing. I'm... I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. Heck. Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. Okay. What's the word around town? Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. Okay. No problem, buddy. No problem, buddy. I have to go now. Talk to you later, buddy. Okay. Box of detergent. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. What's locked? Oh, the desk. I didn't know that until you said it, so... I mean, honestly, I wasn't actually looking at it. And you don't have the key. I was just gonna see if I could, you know, have the water not have radiation in it, but... Okay. Evening. Evening. Do you... Okay, no you don't. I don't know why, but that makes me think of, like, the default Fallout 4, like, character. Uh, no door. Okay, well... See you later, Leo Stall. Gonna go... find supplies, I guess. This way? The crater side supply, okay. Oh. Oh. A hundred to pick. Um, wait. Wait. Till 7 a.m. Waking up in the morning. Oh, I'll wait till 8 a.m. There we go. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Arden hey Sims. Who takes care of you? What do you think of Megaton? It's great. My dad says that one day I'm gonna get to be sheriff, just like him. Yes. Who takes care of you? My dad, of course. He teaches me to shoot and about the law and keeping people safe. When he's not busy protecting the town, that is. Who else is around town? There's the stalls. They were in the Brass Lantern. I go there to eat with my dad sometimes. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird, but him and Mother Meyer are always nice to me. There's also Moriarty, but Dad says I'm not allowed to talk to him. <laughs> What's the word around town? I couldn't tell you really. I'd talk to Manya if you cared that much. She has lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Okay. Sorry. No need to apologize. Got something to sell? Yes. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Tinkering and research? Hey, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I've got plenty to say about the life in the vault. Where do you get the vault suit back there? No, I don't want anything to do with them anymore. Sure, I've got plenty to say about the vault. Wait, where'd you get the vault suit back there? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago? She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. 
In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours if you help. Okay. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting until Dad left. This outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. I was sent as an ambassador for from the Utopia Vault 101. Bow before my glory. How do you people live out here? I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. It was cramped dark and the food sucked. Good riddance. It was paradise down there. <laughs> this outside place is amazing. I'll just say the first one, I guess. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with a big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. And it'll be fun. Hey, what sort of pay and what sort of work? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Sounds good. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice. Like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Mean, mean words. Okay, I guess I'll help with this survival guide. Tell me more about the pay. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask. Sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna do... Okay, I guess I'll help with this survival guide. Alright then! Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid, and even profit, from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Oh, yeah, let me go. Let's hear more about the landmines. I'm just gonna go step on landmines, I guess. Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check the super oh, duper great. mart. Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? I'll try. You thought about disarming the bomb? I ask you about your, your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing! I'm an open book! What do you want to know? What do you do here? Why, I'm an inventor, a tinkerer, and a general genius of junk. One person's junk is another's treasure, you know. And traders bring in lots of junk, so I get dibs on anything particularly nifty. Sure, I don't have as much to sell, but it's more fun this way. Do you sell any specialty items? Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. A rocket Don't launcher. Don't worry about ammo. A rocket this baby launcher. Shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. Oh heck fact, yeah. If you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel Makes free to think use of a my blunder bus here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Can you repair my equipment? Let's... let me see what you have for sale. Can you repair my equipment? If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. 
Oh, okay. Sawed off shotgun. Chinese pistol. Um, 16 caps. How many caps do I have? 34. Yeah. Um, let me see what you have for sale. Have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Okay. Let me see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Weapons. Didn't have any weapons I was gonna sell, I don't think. Here we go. Um. Here, take that. And take the one that I'm currently wearing. Take the one that I'm also currently wearing of the helmet. Just keep one of each. You know what? I'll keep... Yeah, I'll just keep one other. So then... I have a... another one to just like, keep and save. Okay. There we go. Now I have... 151 caps. I also still have a carton of cigarettes, a pack of cigarettes, and... Oh, that's right, sensor modules. Turpentine. Uh, do have pre-war money as well, but I'll just hold on to that, because it doesn't take up any carry weight, so... There we go, 252. What else do you have? Assault rifle. Laser pistol. Spiked knuckles. Damage 7, so that does more than the baseball bat. But I think I might just keep that. Uh, assault rifle. Except. Um, apparel. Combat armor. Leather armor. Well, now I have the armored suit. Armored vault 101. Okay. Oh, so. Is this the one that was back there? I kind of just want to preserve this, to be honest. I don't know if I want to use it and to get it damaged, unless it can be repaired with other Vault 101 suits. Um, weapons. I'll take a laser pistol as well. Ammo. Energy cell. That what that? E cell. Okay. Energy cell. <laughs> 133. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. Oh, wow, okay. I have literally just enough for that. <laughs> Alright. Well, now I can sell the other. Just sell the pre-war money. Oh. Take the scrap metal back. Did I? There it is. Scrap metal back, and I'll just sell the sensor modules. Turpentine. Medical brace I'll keep to see if it works. For, uh... Oh. For crippled legs. Weapons. Use a pistol. Damaged. Exit. Good hunting. Go now. Come back soon. All right. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. Okay. Welcome to Craterside Supply. Requires a key. I didn't want to take that, but... <laughs> I took that. From here. Oh, detected. Oh! Stealing Moira's pot. Jeez. 
Yeah, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to steal the. <laughs> I'm trying to steal the key to the crater side supplies lockers. Oh hey, please. I gotta. Gotta back up, back up, back up. Okay, I don't know if I'm able to. Hey, what about over here? So then, am I hidden yet? Am I hidden yet? Oh, I can take this though. No added, androids are real. No, really. Items. Data. Notes. You've heard those rumors about androids. You know, those synthetic men they supposedly make up north of the Commonwealth. Well, a friend of a friend knows a guy that met one. No, really, it's true. He's running away from his masters. Word is he's looking for a doctor to do some kind of surgery and a computer programmer of some kind. Can you believe that? Let me know if you hear something. Okay. Androids. Is it like Fallout 4 with the... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, 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 I don't think I'm gonna... Anything about that. Not gonna say it unless it will be said. Oh, okay. See you later. Can I? Can I? Okay, okay. Oh. There we go. Hey, oh. that's valuable junk! I've lost karma. Uh oh. Hey, that's valuable junk. Uh oh. Wait, I can go back here? Well. I've been caught pickpocketing. Well, oh, value 20. Okay, I didn't know they were that, <laughs> that valuable. Or else I would have been picking them up and just selling them, because... They have rads, so I wasn't going to drink them. Detected. Hidden. Detected. Hidden. Lockpick level of 75. Lockpick skill of 75, rather. Yeah, I don't I don't have that <laughs> that skill yet. Okay, hey. Been busy I testing? Really I'm thinking of breaking into there. No, not at all. I haven't been thinking about it in the slightest bit. That's why I'm gonna try to pickpocket you. Right now. For your bottle caps. Oh, I've been caught pickpocketing. I lost karma. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have armor on too. Well, it'll load me back. I'm not supposed to talk to Strick. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Yep. 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 Okay. Hi. Oh, now I can Hi. talk to you. I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Who takes care of you when you just said Billy Creel, but... Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They... kill my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. What do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. Who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day too. 
Okay. Bye, mister. See you later. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll go through hey, this again. I hear you. Uh. Where do you get the I'm vault suit sure back I there? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into... Okay. Here we go. What's this book you've been working on? Hey, what sort of pay? What sort of work? Sounds good. Tell me more. And then, hey, help with the survival guide. Uh, food. Okay. There we go. Can I ask you about your work and how my research fits into it? How's it uh, what do you do here? Okay. Okay. Just trying to go through everything I just did. What do you there we go. Weapons. I'll sell all my stuff again. This. This. All that. Sensor modules, turpentine. Ammo. Uh, 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 uh. Darts. Oh, I can throw those at things? Question mark. Okay. Now. Keep one of those. Keep one of those. Okay. Now. Now I buy assault rifle, laser pistol, and ammo. So five thirty-five. Okay. Okay. Good hunting. Now I'll save again before I try to do any of that. <laughs> before I try to steal anything. Here we go again. And tats. Hey, that's valuable junk. Hey, that's valuable junk. Load back. Here goes again. Don't try anything. Don't try anything. You know, I think I recall something about not being able to steal anything in here. Because they see it no matter what, even if it says you're hidden. Maybe that's just like from them though, not from this. Agility plus four. Junk is my business. Junk is your business, okay. Trigger bombs, okay. Very hard. Filing cabinet. Okay, I'm just waiting. Just waiting. Let's go back here. Can I reach the other one? I don't think so. Ah, oh, but I can get this. Oh, are these both empty? Oh, okay. Oh, this is the one. Look this so, way. How's the scabbing been? I haven't gotten around to it yet. Anything that is loose can be carried into a room where no one can see you, and you can just steal it. Not around to it yet. Oh. 
carrying around items does not count for stealing. I gotta get into this filing cabinet, though. <laughs> I just gotta, like, bunny hop on top of it. Somehow. Here, uh... Been busy testing? Yes. I've been busy testing how far I can go before <laughs> I get chased after for stealing things. Junk is my business. Okay. Stay. I'm being watched. Oh. Oh. Am I still in view this direction? Okay. Here, look. Been look, busy testing? Look this way. Watch it, will you? Yes. I am watching. Don't worry, I am watching. I see. Okay, nope. I think I'm still in view there. Don't try anything. Okay. Oh. Oh. I gotta find something. Oh, okay. Suitcase. Please. Bottle cap mine. Oh, so I can just... Yep. I lost karma. That was the one thing I saw. I got Otherwise, I got my eye on you, okay. Me too. On you. I gotta get into the suitcase. Come on now. You don't know how to make any weapons yet. Oh, it's a weapons bench? Not like a repair bench or whatever? Okay. You know you have a flashlight. Yeah, there we go. Welcome I just... To crater side supply. I never found a reason to use it. Because, like... My brightness is bright enough. Just gotta lower the brightness. To help you see in the dark. Yeah, I could lower the brightness to like... What? That still looks... Like, to me this looks fine still. Like, I still don't... Like, I can still see. With the brightness all the way down, too. Yeah, you don't have to. It's <laughs> damn dark in this room, though. Been busy testing? You know, I didn't even think about that. I don't know what it looks like. Because, like... On... Okay, so the screen that I have OBS open on, and the screen that I'm playing the game on... It looks fine, but hey there. how does it look on oh, Twitch? Hi. That is the question. I'm guessing it looks darker on stream, possibly. Oh yeah, yeah, no. This looks a lot brighter to me than it does on stream. Like, this looks... This is probably two times, if not three times darker... ...on stream, so... Yeah. There we go. Like, I didn't realize it was that Junk dark. Is my business. Let me turn on the flashlight and see how much brighter that is. It might just be my phone screen, though, too, because I also have that at, like, the lowest brightness, because my phone... Okay. Yeah, no. It looks... 
It looks the same, but I also, like, I put my brightness to 100, so, like, through windows. So. Like, to me, this doesn't look that dark. Like, I can see Welcome pretty much everything. Supply. The only times that I've had trouble seeing what something was is just because of the textures in the game. I think. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let me get this You've heard going again. About androids. You know, those I raised my brightness from 40% to 50%. Maybe it's just my screen. Possibly. I don't really know. I mean, I basically put everything to the max brightness. Uh, besides, like, in-game settings. So, anything that would be... I guess, you know, I don't I don't put anything to like 50% 50% except for my phone. My phone is like below, you know, it's the lowest brightness setting. Cuz my phone has uh like it burns things into the screen regardless of what brightness setting. So but I've also had the phone for like 6 I think 6 years now actually. So the only thing about it now is that the battery going. is actually for finally starting to uh, degrade to the point where it's it's noticeable battery health. Yeah, service. It says service. What does it say? Seventy six percent of maximum capacity. Got something to sell? Got something to sell? Not anymore. I shall leave now to look for other things. Auto saving, and I'll actually just save again outside. Refrigerator locked average 50%. I do not have 50%. I think I have like 32% or something. Skills. Where is it? Lockpick. No, I have 17 lockpicks, so like, even easy things. Nope. Come on, I can get up there. Or maybe not. Maybe this is already like... Ooh, there we go. There we go. The question is, do the light strands have... Oh, I don't think they have collision or else I'd be able to climb up higher. There we go. Oh, but the sign. Come on, but I want to like... Whoo! But I really want to get out of here. There we go. I don't know if I can get to those lights. I don't know if that goes across like that. Save this again. I turn my brightness to 100, but I don't use light mode. That is one thing. So while my brightness is all the way up to 100, I also don't use light mode on anything at all. So it does not it does not pain my eyes to look at. Very easy. Okay. Hello. You just you don't care that I'm in here? Hey. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I oh, I'm able. You, Bob, it ain't the radio. Are you the Young? quest? Is this the quest? Oh, okay, Commander it is. Font. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Troubles are a thing of the past. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? But... Did anything... Like, I don't remember anything... 
being said about Galaxy News Radio at all, so I'm just like asking this to. I already knew this knowledge. I have. Uh, I can see into the future. I already knew what <laughs> what was going to be discussed. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. I want to buy a drink. Know anything about the area outside, Megaton? The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? What can you tell me about Megaton? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Okay, pal. What do you do around here? What's the word around town? What do you do around here? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Feel the fear on her. Okay. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him? My god, it's you! The little baby boy all grown up! Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone, got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Oh, my father and I were born in Vault 101. You're lying, the vault's been sealed for 200 years. Look, I just want to find my dad, do you know where he is? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Look, I want to find my dad, do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say, a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. No thanks, I'll find out on my own. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> well, good luck with that. So far as I know, I'm the only one your dad told where he was going. So, when you change your mind, come see me. I'm usually at the saloon. A hundred caps. Daddy wouldn't think twice if it were you out there. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Okay, pal. See, what I'm gonna do is, uh... And <laughs> take on. that and uh work. come on work. Oh, Someone use catch. key. Oh. And now I have your password too. Is that um, not to get well, I'm gonna save here before I possibly steal something this else and get caught. Moriarty's property only. Motivational phrase of the month. When the chips are down, it means the Brahmin is empty. Okay. Residence. Jericho. Jericho's been a bad boy. I hear- I heard all about him and Jenny Stahl. Tried to slip her some of the old gun barrel while she's yelling no. He's lucky the gun didn't go off or that would have given the Stahl clan something to crap the, their pants about. He thinks he's king of the hill walking around Megaton like he does all high and mighty. He tries to pull that shit with me and the Jenny incident goes public. Leo Stahl. Never trust a junkie, that's what I've learned trying to deal with this piece of work. He wanders in here high, higher than a bird in flight and tries to make it with Nova. She slapped him silly after he didn't want to pay. The good girl. I almost kicked him out myself, but he staggered out of here. That guy might... may just have... may just be 
this straw I need to break Andy's back. Andy stall. This guy is a real piece of work opening a fucking bar in my town. What a jackass. I swear, he's up to something. I'm going to have have to think of a way to reduce his business a little. For now, at least. I still got my secret weapon, Nova. Best refreshment in town. Billy Creel. That Nuka-Cola spilling prick parading his little daughter Maggie around for all to see like a proud father. Yeah, right. Found her wandering the wasteland, my left ass cheek. I bet old Billy fed Maggie's parents that buckshot sandwich himself, then added the little girl to his trophy collection in that shithole he calls a home. I better keep my eye on him. Doc Church. Church thinks he's such a freaking badass. Everybody runs to him if they get a damn wood splinter and he just laps up their caps like a drunk drowning alcohol. A oh, drunk downing alcohol. If people only knew he used to be a medic for the slavers at the Paradise Falls, they'd run his sorry ass right out of town. But I think I'll keep that little nugget tucked away for later use. Okay. Visitors. Mr. Burke. This guy is a class A weirdo. One day I'm wiping down the bar and the fucker comes out of nowhere. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some sort of opportunist to come through. Whatever. As long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay here until that damn bomb explodes in the center of town for all I care. James, Vault 101. Or... 101, question mark. So out of nowhere, James came back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me... Where the hell he could get a lay off the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ruins of DC and that guy, Three Dog. Then like that, he was gone again. I remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to or be able to get into a vault. But he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby. That wouldn't sh shut the fuck up. Normally I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Then like that, he ducks into Vault 101 and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. Okay. Tabs. Jericho, 32 caps. Deadbeat bastard. Doc Church, 14 caps. Nathan, 8 caps. Stockholm, 8 caps. Okay. Well. I already know. If you know. need something from me, spill it. And back he comes. So, are you just thirsty? Or are you ready to pay me fee? Dear Dad's not gonna find himself. Okay. I thought maybe there was an option to say something that I already knew the information pre-war money because I already stole it from his terminal. Save. There we go before I go further in. Oh, okay. Welcome to Moriarty's saloon. Talk. Gob. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? Drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Stuff it, ghoul, and stop looking at me? What the heck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I would, I, I'm not saying that. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Are you kidding me? Shut the hell up, go I'll beat you if I feel like it. I hadn't planned on it. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. 
Okay. I've got no reason to to say anything, pal. Got no problem. Where did you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. How much do you owe him? Because I'd, I'd, I'd pay. I'd pay if I had if I had caps. I think I have like 23 caps or something. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Again, like I don't think I've even turned on Galaxy News Radio or any any radio station at all and I'm just like asking this. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ 3 Dog and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that. Instead of being stuck in this dive. How about a drink? Anything for you, friend. Ooh, stim packs for 27. What do I have? I could just trade... Yeah, I could just trade Jet for stim packs, because, like, I don't usually use Jet anyway, so... Much... 15. So I'll buy like four. Yeah. Okay. So then. Nuka Cola. Oh, yeah, you can have that. Then. 15. Nuka Cola Quantum. That also has rads. I'll take that. And then I. Do I have anything else? Psycho... I'll sell one Psycho. So what is this? Damage plus 25. So that's like... Oh, I don't know about that, actually. Buff out. Red X. Um... Rad X. Rad away. Uh... Yeah, I'll give one back then, I guess. Whoa. Oh. It's just... How many? One. One. There we go. Misc. What do I have in this now? Scrap metal. Oh, there we go. Pre-war money. It's 16. Then I have enough for another stim pack. Okay. Here we go. See you soon, drunkie. Goodbye, Gob. Don't hit me. I won't, pal. Thank you for the stem packs. Really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. They they address it, but do they actually like? Do they actually like? Really. You know, take any of that into account, I guess. Wire's key. Iguana bits. Hey, hey, hey. Billy Creel. Oh, hey. Well, hot damn. Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, 
I ain't gonna talk about it. What can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. What do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. What's the word around town? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? I'm sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. I have to go now. Easy, man. Billy Creel. Got something on your mind? Oh, okay. Nova. Can't I just drink in peace? A traveler, Lucy eh? West. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Burke, is it? Or please continue. I find myself enthralled. It does. Got a point, make it. It does. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Wait, you're gonna destroy the town? You're a sick man, Burke. This conversation's over. Wait, you're gonna destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Throw in an extra 500 caps and you've got yourself a deal. 56%. Ouch. I'll try to get the extra 500 caps and I'm just not going to do it then. Well played. An extra 500 caps, in addition to the base fee when Megaton lies in ruins. Here's the fusion pulse charge. Place it in the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Any questions? We're talking a lot of innocent lives here, Bert. Can I warn them? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. Oh, pal. Messing with that bomb seems pretty technical. What if I can't do it? Lack the aptitude, you mean. 
You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have something to help you concentrate. He's got a bit of a reputation. Time for me to Don't go. Don't let me keep you. Okay. Let's see. Did I get the caps though? Do I have the caps already? No, I don't. Well, that's unfortunate. I do have the experience though, and the pulse detonator. Can I just like throw it at him? Where is it? Maybe not. Maybe I'm not allowed to like use it. Fusion. Pulse charge. Cannot remove quest items from inventory. Welcome. Yeah. The Moriarty's. I'm not gonna blow it up. So I just was gonna see if I could get the caps for for doing nothing. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. None of your business, maybe. Who wants to know? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Delivery. Sure, why not? A job usually means I get paid. Nope, sorry. Sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some information about Arfu? Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is Arfu? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. You suspect your family is in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Who else lives in Arfu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Uh, is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> No, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Let me ask you something else. Okay. <laughs> I have to go now. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Here we go. Yes? Leave me alone. Can't I just drink and pee? Talk to Gob Hello. if you need something. Hello. Leave me alone. Looking's free. The rest will cost ya. Okay. What do you need? Working for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. How much for a room? What's the story with that ghoul? So what's it take to hire you? What were you saying about radio stations? Radio stations? When? I'm just asking questions about radio stations when, like... Is there anything... Like, is there at any point a time when I received anything from anyone about radio stations? Because I think I'm just asking. Like, I'm just guessing. I don't even know. I'm just guessing this exists. What are you saying about radio stations? Or rather, what were you saying about radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave Station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. Uh... What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, 
He's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. What's the story with that ghoul? Oh. Did it again. It's like asking me for like a uh, name of scene transition, but I'm not even like I, I'm not clicking on that on OBS. It just keeps doing it. What's the story with that ghoul? So what's it take to hire you? How much for a room? Um, what's the story with that ghoul? Who? Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Why is Morarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us, but Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Where did he come from? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Did you... Did... Do you ever, you know, work with him... With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well, I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. I talked to Moriarty already. He's trying to charge me for the info. If you can give me more information or point me in the right direction. Talked to Moriarty already. He's trying to charge me for the info. <laughs> yeah, that's Colin's style, all right. He sells information so much, you'd think the bar was just a hobby. Look, if you can give me more information or point me in the right direction... Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something. But I doubt it. How much for a room? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps, up front. No thanks. Okay then. So what's it take to hire you? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't, I don't care. I get paid either way. I have to go now. Take care of yourself, hon. How are you? Hell of a day, isn't it? Can't complain. Looking for a drink? You've come to the right place. Good to see you again. Need a drink? I need a drink. Sure thing. Stim pack is 27. Do I have anything at all to sell? Oh, bottle cap mine. Damage 296. Yeah, I don't know. Might keep that. Brass knuckles. Yeah. Eyeglasses. Flamer. Hunting rifle. Laser pistol. Lunchbox. Uh. Don't think I have anything to sell necessarily. Vault lab or vault lab uniform rather. Okay. Two caps. See you soon, drunkie. Don't hit me. 
Looking spree. The rest will cost ya. This better be a parkless. I'm a busy man. Billy Creel. Anyone else to talk to in so, here? So what is it now? Okay. Now do a manual save. Yes. I'll go check. Let's see if they oh it's them, okay. I don't think I'm I not supposed to talk to strangers. What's up? Okay. I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Billy says I get too friendly with people I don't know. She says it's dangerous. Bye, mister. Then is there something else in dialogue for Maggie eventually? Common house. Megaton settler. Another Megaton settler. Bunk bed. Otto out to sleep in beds. This is not my bed. Refrigerator. Cram. Water knife. Metal box. Oh, carton of cigarettes. There we go. Cola. Hockey mask. Metro ticket. Mask. I forgot I was still wearing this armor. I think I'm gonna switch to the traitor outfit again. There we go. Can sell the carton of cigarettes for 50 caps if they they take it for that. Back door. Another settler. A locker. Vodka and wine. A chair. Okay. See you later. Oh, there's another level in here. now. I do not see anything else to look at in here. And as far as I know, to talk with or anything. Oh. Nathan in Anya's house. Okay. Oh. It's Anya. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan, he'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. I had some questions about this town's history. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. <laughs> What's this place made of? Long ago, before the war, they used to be machines. They were like buses, but they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk, you just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms, and when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. So why didn't they move the bomb? Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. There are a lot of parts here for just one machine. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. 
There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. Why build the walls out of some old flying machine? It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Another question sure about Megaton. How did the town start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Why did they build the walls? Well, the raiders for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away and come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants, they were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really helped keep the wolves at bay. So it was just a collection of traders in the beginning? Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while. That's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. So anyone can live in Megaton? No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. That's enough of the history lesson. If you say so, honey. How did you get here? I was born here, actually. Just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland has worked for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Where did everyone else come from? Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho, well, let's just say that men can change. I hope. Who's in charge around here? Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. Tell me about Colin Moriarty. That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. 
Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. Tell me about Lucas Sims. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have much to complain about. I think I get the picture. All right, then. Anything else you wanted to know? Uh, I don't want to talk about Megaton anymore. Well, you come on back anytime you want to hear more. What's the word around town? There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. I have to go now. Send Nathan home if you see him. I'm gonna lower the music again, I think. It still seems louder than what people are saying in the game. Oh, well now I can go in here. Oh. She came in and then left. Oh. A request for help. Oops. Lots of caps. That's what the password was, okay. Marty's info on dad. Okay, I read this before. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Okay. Android. You cannot sleep in an on in an owned bed, okay. There we go. Ding 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 ding. Do not have the lockpick skill to get in there. Door to empty house requires a key. I do not have a key. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Crater Side Supply can help you. Watch out though, she is different. Different. Yeah. Man named oh man named Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. He gave me this fusion pulse charge to rig the bomb. Here, take it. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Oh, here he goes. He's off. Okay, well, I'm not gonna save yet, because I don't know what's gonna happen, but here we go. Oh, he went in. Yeah, you need something? You there, Burke! Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a... 
<laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation, personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Oh, I know, I know. A long time for them. You've made a grievous error in judgment. Watch your back! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna load. <laughs> I'm to see not gonna. You there, Burke? Explain your business in Megatime. I'm sorry. I'm standing in between Sheriff, them. What are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The... Can I help you? Watch where you're I... swinging that, will you? Oh! 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 Not trying to hit. Better not try that again. Can we please behave like civilized adults? We're all going to die! I Ain't just had to sue Taylor! Burke has been killed. You can no longer receive a reward for blowing up Megaton. Oh no. Yeah, well now he can no longer shoot the Lucas Sims in the back. Uh oh. Here we go. Here comes. Silence to millimeter pistol. Tortoise shell glasses. Pre war hat. Dirty pre war business wear. Speech 5. Take the glasses, but. God, I still have the baseball bat. Hmm? Oh. I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Get Jenny Get the Moobot. You can set it up to deal with those stupid bots. Moobot? Moobot. I'll do it right now. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Okay. Here goes. It's free. I'll do it right now. Moobot Twitch. Moobot. Click to get started. Meet your Twitch bot Moobot. Connect with Twitch. No payment, registration, or download required. Connect with Twitch. Uh, read your email address and email verification status. Okay. Sure. Welcome to your Moobot dashboard. Here you find everything you need to manage your Moobot. Your Moobot is ready to help you increase engagement and loyalty, helping you build the exact community you want on Twitch. Take a quick tour of your dashboard and read the available documentation to learn how to use Moobot to its full potential. 
Menus on your dashboard also have buttons which take you directly to the relevant sections of the documentation. Uh, take a quick tour. You can use Moobot's features to help drive engagement and loyalty, leading more followers and subs for you. Uh, okay. Okay. You can change your ti Twitch title and category from this widget. Okay. Song requests through this widget, letting your viewers uniquely interact with you through music. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I don't know how to do things with it, but I have it now, so. Thank you for the suggestion. I'll see what I can do. Special features. Custom bot name. Good. Just leave it as it is for now. There are... Other similar programs, just check it out later. Uh, okay. Commands, built in commands, aliases. Okay. Miscellaneous. Hey, thanks for the follow. Okay, well, so does it do it automatically or like do I have to set up anything? Because I, I don't know what, you know, I see features and stuff like that. Like I can see the different categories, but I don't know where specifically things are, you know. You can set up various guidelines for what you want to block. I haven't used it myself, but it seems popular on other streams I've watched. Ah, uh, okay. I'll just add, like... <laughs> I mean, if you have any other suggestions, because, like, I could have done, um, phone... Like, I could have done number... phone number verification on and stuff like that, but... You know, I don't want to, like, make it a requirement for, you know, everyone else to have to do that to see the stream, so. You know, that is something that I also have considered, but I don't really, uh, I'm not really sure. Because, like, just having, you know, verified email, maybe verified email i forget if i have that set or not already but even then it might still you know bots somehow get verified or something so i don't know i'll see i'll have it here we go i'll, I'll make it a favorite or whatever in my on my browser so i can find it again bye If I was going to continue using it, let me see. Put it. There we go. There we go. So 
So now I have it. In case. Can you tell me something about Megaton? It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. Makes you money. What's the word around town? Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. Okay. Okay, Andy. I could use some directions around town. Talk to you later, Andy. Yeah, catch you later. Miss West? Hey there. <laughs> okay. What? And back he comes. So, are you just thirsty? Or are you ready to pay me fee? Dear Dad's not gonna find himself. I already, I already got the information from your terminal, pal. Don't let me keep you. Why are you... Hello? You making a move? Huh? Nah. <laughs> uh. Oh, look. Another one of your wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? What do you know about the wasteland? What do you do around here? What's the word around town? What do you do around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> what do you know about the wasteland? None of your fucking business. Did I miss something? What's your problem with me? Unarmed, whatever your problem is, I suggest you get over it now. Did I miss something? What's your problem with me? You're from the outside. And I've lived too much of my life out there to trust every jackass nobody that wanders in from the wasteland. You seem alright though. So I'll cut you a deal. I'll answer your questions so long as you don't give me any more reason to distrust you. Got it? What do you know about the wasteland? I've said just about all I'm gonna say about that. What's the word around town? A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. And go for the top shelf on me. Give 20 caps. Do I... I don't even know if I have 20 caps. Don't you know how a bribe works? You give me money, and I give you information. In order to do that, you have to have money. Christ. Kids. I didn't have. <laughs> I don't have. But... <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, kid. Thanks for the drink, though. Okay, I did have ten. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. Have you ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out in the waste, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. Oh. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, killing... Yeah, killing, stealing sounds fun, doesn't it? You know... Do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. You should come with me, I could use a hand. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. I've heard about you. 
a little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? My karma is too high. Oh, okay. So like, if I go steal things, and my karma drops, then... Okay. I have to go. Come back if you need something. Can I take the ten caps I just gave to him? And then give What's him ten caps? Though? Get the fuck out of my face. Okay, pal. Just gonna stand, sit, crouch, back here. Like, oh, I'm hidden here. Nope. I'm detected. Oh, I'm hidden. I'm detected. I'm hidden. House key. I've been caught pickpocketing. My karma. Low enough. You need something? No offense. Whoa. Oh, the plate is on his gun. Gotta lift the... Gotta lift the gun. Oh. It's still on the gun. What's up? Still... Still doing this? Okay. Oh, there we go. Deactivated. Don't look at me like that. Oh. 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 What am I stuck? Oh, I'm stuck on that. Okay. I'm out of here. Or now. Until I go steal more things and lower my karma, I guess. to women's restroom. There. Biohazard. Infectious waste. The house requires key. I do not have key. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. Okay. I'm gonna go check on the bomb. Anyone else to talk to down here? Jenny Stahl. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? What can you tell me about Megaton? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. What's the word around town? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? What's on the menu? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some can even taste good. Is there anything? Oh, this has. This is minus. Rads. Okay. 
attacks. I don't think I have anything else to sell. Let me see. Aid. Oh, Nuka Cola. There we go. I'll have 19 caps. Metro ticket. Oh, carton of cigarettes. There we go. Now I can go. I can go buy that. Uh, Enjoy. I can buy the one person drinks. Attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. I could use some directions around town. Tell me about the Church of Atom. Confessor, have you ever traveled outside of Megaton? What can you tell me about Megaton? What's the news? Um, tell me about the Church of Adam. Yes, what would you like to know? Uh, what do you believe? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Why do you worship the bomb? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Let's As talk about wish. something else. Do you accept donations? Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? If I can donate, change my mind. Very well. Confessor, have you ever traveled outside of Megaton? In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. What can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us, the bomb is Atom, and thus we are Atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. What's the news? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The 
man never sleeps. So they say. I have to go now. I wish you well on your path. Hey there. Explosives 25 or higher. Behold! He is coming with the cloud. The brass lantern. I haven't been in here yet. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. No, no, I would... I never, I never do that. Rad's three. Very easy. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If you guess, your guess is incorrect, you'll be shown how many letters match the correct password in the correct location. We have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the turtle will remain inaccessible until you have until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. Okay. A brass lantern sounds like a bong. <laughs> I mean. Brass Lantern. A bong. Leads. Fight. Lands. Storm. Young. Goal. Shape. Heals. Heads. Stays. Kills. Storm. Zero out of five, correct. Um, stays. One out of five, correct. Uh, leads. Nope. Try again. Yep. Because as long as I don't do all four attempts, I can try again. Cards, James, Waves, Handy, Cast, Raids, Races, Halls, Handy, Chose. I don't think I've seen any of the same. Unite? Nope. Handy? No. Chose? Nope. Try again. Uh, do you mind any tips? Uh, I don't mind. I do not mind any tips. Crash, dress, regs, grasp, rink, Gra crass, dream, wrist, Grass, brink, and trash. Three out of five. Drink. No. Oh. Crass. Oh. Oh. Detected. Oh, now he's getting on the terminal? Oh yeah, let me just get on while you're here. <laughs> okay. Saves. Nope. Heads. Nope. Evan. Nope. And again. Art. Serve. Death. Uh. Doing. Grief. Dregs, no. Dream. Dazed. There we go. Unlock for safe. Well, safe unlocked. Notes on Leo. 
I hate to even think that Leo is stealing from us, but we can't really seem to explain where the money is going. Cap or two is an honest mistake, but we're talking over a hundred per month here. I can't really accuse him of stealing, but something is going on. And the oddest thing? Doc Church seems to know something about Leo, but won't tell me. Ash notes. Leo's count came up short again on this month. 124 caps this time. I'll have to keep an eye on him. He's either careless or a thief. Inventory notes. We're coming up short on a few things again. I can't explain it. We have enough liquor in the still to supply us each month, but we keep running short. Note to self, keep an eye on Leo. Between this and his cash shortages, I'm starting to think that something is going on. Andy. You can hack the computers by looking for items enclosed by brackets to remove duds or reset your chances. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I just, uh... Once I get three wrong, I just power it off, and then I power it back on. Uh... Because I didn't know otherwise, but thank you. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Very good tip. Yeah. I'll see. I'll see uh, the next time that I find a terminal then. Um, iguana on a stick. I'm not gonna take the iguana on a stick. Metal box. I'll just take this wall while, while you're there. Oh, 300. Oh. Just wait. Hidden. Okay. Don't mind Andy. He's just a busy guy. Don't mind Andy. He's just a busy guy. Back door. Am I allowed? I'm allowed back here. Okay. Little box. Empty. Braxa cleaner dart. Okay. Empty. Chair, if you want. Okay. More darts. Twenty darts. Taking these darts. I don't know why, but like, wait. Am I not able to get up on these? Oh. Okay. I don't know why, but I like the that noise. Just the tink 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 tink. Like I am I am amused by that. Hard. Okay. I will not steal the money from the cash register. At least for now. Tink, 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 tink. Where am I? It's, oh, it's on the floor. Am I picking up the... Oh, I thought they were picking up the bottles because I knocked them down, but... They might just be picking things up to pick things up. Gather and behold the power of Atom. Let those who dwell here in its favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Going up here. Come forth and drink the One. waters of the globe. Oh, For there we this go. ancient weapon of war is our no salvation. Door here. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Mr. Burke's house very hard. Oh. I don't think he had a key on him. So where is the key to that? Mother Maya. Hello, sweet child. Hello, I don't believe we've met. 
I'm Mother Maya, prophet of the atom and embracer of the universal light. Remember, sweet child, that as children of Adam, the fabric of the universe itself is ours to weave. So welcome to Megaton, and peace be with you. Tell me about the church. I could use some directions around town. What's the word around town? Tell me about the church. For those answers, I shall direct you to my husband, Confessor Cromwell. Okay. What's the word around town? I'm not one to gossip, but I do know a few things. For instance, did you hear that Lucas wants someone to disarm our bomb? Imagine the blasphemy! I can't believe it! I mean, I don't believe it! He would never do that to us! To go now. Walk in the glow. Walk in the glow. This. You don't need a. a howitzer to be a. a hero? Okay. Or. read this but oh clinic oh empty syringe two stim packs Fires a key. Oh. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. Right away. First aid box. Blood pack. Stim pack. Hollow tape. The hollow tapes are not considered stealing. Oh. Megaton Colt pamphlet. Lost children of the waste, rejoice! Adam pre presents to you a chance to redemption. A chance to redemption. The Church of the Children of Adam offers you a chance to participate in keeping of Adam's sacred city of Megaton. We accept currency, which shall be used to keep this holy place as pure and as safe as possible. Rays shine upon wayward children of the waste. Confessor Cromwell. Oh, yeah, Confessor Cromwell. Here we go. We got the tech, and we need the dock. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. We just need to find someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon who knows how to keep his mouth shut, send him our way. Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. Do you know any trustworthy techies? Okay. Doc Church. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Found some info about an android. What do you know about his facial surgery? Damn stupid idea, if you ask me. That was all just an elaborate hoax. Um... What can you tell me about Megaton? I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. What do you do around here? I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. What do you know about the people here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. 
You can trust me, I'm a doctor myself. Nice try. Maybe if you actually had some medical training, we could talk about it. I have to go. Yeah, bye. I think I have stuff to sell, maybe. Yep, carton of cigarettes. Here we go. For Christ's sake, you don't look sick, and you sure as hell don't look dead. So why are you bothering me? I need to buy medical supplies. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. Okay. Arrow made this. Here we go. Carton of cigarettes. And ammo items. Arrow. Mm. Tented reading glasses. Okay. It's the carton of cigarettes then. Good. to go now. Try to be careful. Um, surgical tubing. Alright. Well, I visited the clinic. Oh, there's Jericho again. my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. See what happens. Here we go. Go for the top shelf <laughs> on me. Whoa, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid. Don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. So where's the key? Why haven't you robbed him? Sounds risky. What if he catches me? So where's the key? It's dangling around Common's neck. Get it, if you can. Sounds risky, what if he catches me? He'll probably blow your head off. That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irishman. Why haven't you robbed them? My robbing days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. Here to drink and stink? Okay. Thanks for the info, Jericho. Anytime. Face. What's the word around? Remember town? what I told you, kid. Moriarty keeps his money locked up right next to his bed. Oh, okay. Come back if you need something. Give unto you these well, feeble bones. Now I know that. I present to your will. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Body. Maybe we can talk later, okay? I beg of you to use me as your vessel. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief to this rotten flesh. Cast the fragile form of this Let's See if I can find that place again. Door to the children of Adam. Oh, okay. Refrigerator. Child, have you come to bask in Atom's glow? Oh, Nuka Cola. There you go.
Foot Locker, Bottle Cap, Coca Cola. Leather armor. I guess I'll take it, because I do have more carry weight now as well, so I can carry 210 weight. Whatever that weight may mean. Packed cigarettes, ashtray, desk, cart. What? Whoa. Why the pistol? It just looks... Oh. Because the paper is going in between it. It just looks like it was... It just looked like it was flat to me. Okay. Oh. How much is it worth? 23. Just hack the terminal. Okay, here we go. Wait, how do you? Oh, wait a second. Let me try to to like looked very <laughs> looked very flat. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna reset this. Yeah, it just. That. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually a weapon. Like, that you could get. So. I was considering picking it up, but. I then just realized when I backed up that it's. Oh, it's just floating now. Like, I, I think this is all just. Yeah, the paper is going through the cups as well. So it's just the textures. I don't know why that's happening, but it is paper through the cups and gun. Okay, I'll try this again. I didn't... Okay, wait a second. Oh, okay. I see. Dud removed. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I never knew that. Welcome, Confessor. May you walk in the glow. Adam's Nucleus. People often innocently ask me, Confessor, why do you worship a bomb? Like curious children, they come to me with questions about the most visible and perhaps controversial aspect of our faith. The innocent among us hear my sermons before the great symbol. The see us bathe in the waters and they wonder if it is danger we seek a suicide pact perhaps and while you may be tempted to answer their curiosity with anger my gentle children of Adam you must never do so the core of Adam's philosophy teaches us peace that we must educate the curious and work towards alleviating their ignorance that we must teach them to accept the glory of the division of the past and to seek the glory of the division of that is to come. 
teach them, my children, teach them how the miserable rotten meat of their bodies will give birth to countless lives at the time of division. Teach them that they should not mourn the world that has passed, but praise and celebrate those that have already been divided. Teach them the blessing, the glory, that the peace of our communion and the satisfaction that can be found in our blessed work. Teach them, my children, teach them well, and in the teaching, find your peace and your place. This is the core of Adam's message to us. Spread, grow, communicate. Go in peace, my precious children. Walk in Adam's glow. Okay. Treatise on Adam's second coming? What is Adam? Adam is light, power. Adam is change. Adam is the cleansing that brings order to chaos. Adam is purity. Adam is peace. Adam is hope. Bringing about the division. I often ask myself if the time is right for the second division. Here in Adam's blessed village, are we truly ready for this coming? Have I properly prepared my people for the moment in which his great altar cracks open and reveals to us his glory? I am but a man. Who I am to bring the Who am I to bring these people to glory? Who am I to seek to cause the division? Lost karma. Hidden cup. Uh, ashtray. Okay. Oh. I think I checked this before. Go up the stairs. I think it was up here before, yeah. Books. Close your eyes and feel Adam's glow. Alright. I don't think there's anything else down here. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be Go talk to Jericho again. I wanna wait. I don't know if I'm able to until I steal the key or whatever. I'll go back up. Oh, Lucy West's house. No box. Dark. Boy car. Iron. That's what alt does, I guess. Common house. Get where the place is. Here. Oh, the saloon. Don't look at me like that. You need something, youngster? Got something on your mind? You won't get away with that. <laughs> you won't get away with that. I didn't take. I didn't hey take there. anything yet. Not able to pick up the bucket. Is on the floor. It's this plate. Hey there. 
Glad you're back. I don't think I'm able to move the crate. Oh, here we go. What Walter. are you looking at, boy? Yeah, what is it? What can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. He's got time for a drink, though. <laughs> Can't you fix the pipes? I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. Keep that in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Well, I think it's because he shuts it off at night. That's why he's not out doing that right now I guess what did you need me to do again what can you tell me about Megaton what can I tell you about Megaton well that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly how's that for a piece of information what do you do around here I take care of the water purification plant that old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water for now What's the word around town? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. What did you need the me to do are again? Leaking around town. Find the leaks and patch the pipes if you can. There should be three leaks. Three leaks. I have to go now. Well, back to work. Hey. Got a problem? Got a problem? Hey, come here. Hey there. Glad you're I want to talk to you. Oh, sure. What's up? He said, hey, come here. I want to talk to you. And then I came over and tried back if you need something. to talk to him. Nova. Hello there, honey. Oh. Hey there. Glad you're back. Either start talking or get the fuck out of my face. Uh, 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 I thought he asked me to come talk to him. Been a while. You need something? <laughs> What's the word around Remember town? Remember what I told you, kid. Okay. Hey there. Oh, I was hidden. Where was I hidden? Thought it. Okay. I'm going. You want something? Here we go. It's just another... oh. Oh, it like disappears when I go up there. See, this is fun times. Just hold it. Talk to Gob if you need something. I'm in the mood to drink, not to talk. Give it a rest, will you? Just grab one of these barrels and you run it into something. Oh. Something. I'm hit! 
<laughs> I've hit. Oh no, now can I can I do it still? No. I don't think I can do it while they're sitting down. Leave me alone. But if you keep pushing it into them, you can just like kill them and you don't get any like negative uh reputation or whatever. Hey. Get back here. I brought you this. I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt Gob. Don't shoot. Please, just tell me what you want. Oh no. I don't want to do friendly fire. Yes? Oh, there we go. Gonna... Oh. Let's say I'm gonna move you from your position, but you're already moving. The only thing is, I can end up hurting myself too with it, so... It has a Chinese pistol. Hello. Oh. Here. Oh. Oh, now I know how much health. Yes. Watch it, will ya? Watch it, will ya? Jeez. Set it. What is it? Here, eat, eat the barrel. It's very good and good to see you. Very delicious and nutritious, just for you. I thought it said he had the key around his neck or something, but. I don't see the key. Shack door to Megaton. I don't know where his bed is. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh. Okay. Closed door. My bed. And <laughs> my bed, but I didn't buy this room. My bed. I did not purchase this room, so it is not. Is everyone from the vault as kind as you? Talk to Gob if you need something. It's not that kind of bar, stranger. It's not that kind of bar, stranger. I don't know what you mean, pal. Whoa! Oh, the crate. Here. Oh, can I pick it up? I don't think so. I can pick this up though. Does this work like... No, because it just... Yeah, just drops through. There. <laughs> That's yours now. Oh, I'm hidden here. Iron and Wonder Glue. Whoa. Just like stack things on on this person. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. No, don't worry. I'm not gonna steal it. I'm just gonna put it in your lap. Come on. Oh, there we go. Get the bucket. Oh, you took it. Okay. All yours. There we go, bucket on the chair. Bye. Cabinet, hard. Bed. Where's the key? Does he only sleep with the key? Let me wait. <laughs> Let me wait. 14 hours. Maybe even later than that, I don't know. 
Oh yeah, even later than that. Like, 10 o'clock. They leaving? Oh yeah, they're leaving. Don't even think about it. Don't worry, I'm not trying to steal from you. This no, this is not the one with the cabinet. Oh, but this does have a filing cabinet with pre-war money. We'll just wait till what? 12, 19 a.m. everyone leaving I'll just wait here until there's no longer any movement oh someone coming over here oh Does this, does this place close or no? Detected. T. 1 a.m. 2:46 a.m. How are you doing, Walter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 3 a.m. 4.52 a.m. 5.54 a.m. Did they just... not sleep? I'll just wait 24 hours. Maybe it's a certain day. Unless I've already taken it, I don't really know. Lockpick skill of 75 or higher, which I do not have. Good to see you. I think I might have already taken it earlier when I got into the terminal as well. So, um, the only other thing I could get is the cabinet upstairs, but I need a lockpick skill above 75, or well, 75 or above. Let's see, data, quests. One more about the escaped android. Super duper mart. Um... Meeting the outcasts out of this world into the pit. Find the source of the radio transmission. The local flavor investigate the riverboat. Um deliver Lucy's message. Find Galaxy News Radio. Okay. What's happening? What's happening? Can I just drink in peace? It's not that kind of bar, stranger. Leave me alone. Okay. What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgiven place. I want to buy a drink. Look at the gob. He'll get you whatever you need. Um. Okay, I guess there is. Wait our next meeting with bated breath. Is there isn't anything what? else? Will you? Oh wait, I forgot about this. I'm 
not gonna do it to them. Put it. Just leave it there. Because I can still use it on the uh, other residents. Oh, there's one out here too. So I can just bring it down. Oh, is this stuck? Oh, I can get it. Bent can, tin can, bent can. Refrigerator. I can pick up this crate. Oh, there's one of the leaks. Here I go. Oh. Repair 30 or higher. Okay, well. I don't have repair 30 or higher. Gun. Gotta find my barrel. There it is. Oh, there's another one up here too. We'll leave that one there. You're kind of weird. That's what somebody said. Okay. There's another one there. Food. As a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past. And the I just want the barrel. There we go. I don't want radiation. You looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Oh, ramen. Looking for more residents. Hey, released from the pain and hardships of this world. Hey, okay, your settler. Go. Burned from you with the fire of his brilliance. Hey. Why don't you look where you're going? Shall give birth to a billion stars. You look where you're going, pal. Look out for the barrel. Ah, damn. Where'd it go? Shall be mother um. Did it fly through the ground? Each of us shall know peace. Oh. Shall know an end to pain, Over here. And shall know Adam in his glory. I I'm taking damage too, so. Come, oh, they're almost dead. Oh, there they go. Glorious Atom. I 32 pistol. Almond skin outfit. Give unto you these feeble bones. Oh, there it is. I present to your will this frail So it's already open. I beg of you to examine. To use me as your vessel. Guide me to There's your another place. one. Divide each okay. particle and give relief to this rotten. I was wondering what that noise was. I think it's because I'm almost dead. That's okay. I'm trying to route. Here we go. Hey there. Hey there. Sparrow up there. Serve barrels at your bar. Oh. I believe this place go kill something, haha. <laughs> What do you mean? I already did. Let those who dwell here. Items. Blood pack. One HP. Here in his favored land, attend oh, now, now it stopped. To the, the noise. I killed him with the barrel, so now I didn't get negative reputation. I'm just. Kill whoever with it. <laughs> Just trying not to kill any, uh, any of the characters that can give quests or trade things. There we go. Hey, 
There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, Got another tip. We shall see our it is behind Megaton. Look for a large rock. Has some Yay, items you might like. Will do. Look out my baseball bat. Um. And I can go. Local map. Oh. There it is. Quests. Blood ties. Gonna deliver the message. What? Why are you being so friendly? Go away! Sorry. I just want to be fry end. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Will do. Thirsty partner. Try Moriarty's oh. oh. coldest drinks in the capital wasteland. Oh, here we go. Hey there. Fear not, for Lucky Harith is here to offer you protection for a price. Lucky Harith. Ah, fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome, all of which can be yours for the right price. Can you repair something for me? Tell me about your trade caravan. See the world's dangerous and unbalanced place. So I realized the only way to bring peace was to make sure that everyone could be dangerous. So, with a little bit of help from the mayor of Canterbury Commons, I set up this caravan. I can't give the weapons away for free, but I come close. Okay, I'm here to buy. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Oh, Take okay. Missile? Missile launcher? <laughs> okay. I can just buy a missile launcher if I wanted to. Um... I'll buy two and then I'll repair them. Shish kebab schematics. Shotgun shell, spiked knuckles, stim pack, items. Do I have any misc things? Pre war money, pack cigarettes. Okay. Oh. Missile launcher, missiles. Um. Energy cell. Okay, well, this launcher now. A pleasure doing business with you. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled, alright? Will do, Lucky. Items, weapons, missile launcher. Repair. There we go. 57 damage. That is now the highest damage thing I own. Gotta look for the rock. Come, please. Police baton. Baseball bat. Still have that equipped. Ooh. Okay. Bit further. <laughs> yeah. If I didn't, if I didn't die to the uh, 
<laughs> the mole rats. Welcome. Okay, I'll try this again. Ah, uh, fellow student. Okay, here to buy. Please enjoy my. I'll try that again. Okay. Problem solvers. Thirty-two pistol. So, okay, doesn't the hunting rifle? Okay, yeah, the hunting rifle uses thirty-two, so I can. I'm gonna sell the pistol. Weapons. Silenced. Okay, so I have a silenced one, and I think it's almost as high condition. See. Yeah, almost as high condition as my 10 millimeter, so. Weapons. Here we go. Two missile launchers. Um wait a second. Oh now there's not missiles. That's unfortunate. Buy another hunting rifle to repair the other one then I guess. Hold off shotgun, I'll buy to repair the other one. Change the ammo. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Hey. Um, well then... You know, I'll... S oh, wait, my salt off is actually in better condition than that one, so... You can buy... Almost buy another missile. Hmm. You know what? I'll settle the 10 millimeter because I have the silenced one, so I'll just do that. 94. I can almost buy all the missiles. Uh, Brahmin skin outfit. Um. FedEx. Buff out. Tats, Nuka Cola. Oh, there we go. Just sell the Nuka Colas. Is there anything else to buy here? 308. What takes. Do I have anything that takes 308? I don't think so. Oh, sniper rifle takes 308. There we go. Yep. A pleasure doing business with you. Until we meet again, keep yourself alive out there. Okay, hey, I'll try. I'll try again. Now I can repair this. And I did not take the other salt off. That's right. Okay. Oh, and I have the assault rifle as well. Need to heal. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'll see. Let's see. <laughs> Just use the hunting rifle. Do I have anything other than stim packs? Oh, I have 38 stim packs. I'll just do one for now. Where's the other one? Where's... Oh. No more, please. No more. Four. Okay. Where'd they go? There was another one over here. 
more at meat. Value four. Ow. It's just dog. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh... Okay. We see... Apparel. I'm changing my apparel now. This one. This one. And... Aid. Buff out. Okay. Okay. This isn't... <laughs> That's... Okay. Thank you for the stream, it's time for work. Uh, yep. Um, you're welcome. Uh, hey, thanks for stopping by. You can set quick keys, hold down the number key while in Pip-Boy and click to select. All right. <laughs> See, I think... I don't think I knew how to do that, but I don't think I ever used it because, like... I can just bring up the... The Pip-Boy, but I guess there is the delay when bringing it back down, so... I don't know what to use right now. Because I thought I'd be doing more damage with the uh, buff out. Sawed off shotgun. Okay. Ah! No more. Missed. Okay. I have one more shell. Value four. Um, aid. There. No more. Caution. Oh. Comes. I missed. Oh. BB gun, assault rifle, baseball bat, bottle cap mine, Chinese pistol. Oh. Sure, why not? I haven't tried it yet. I live on stim packs alone, never ate the food or used chems or even bothered with vats. Oh. Yeah, no. I don't usually use vats and I don't usually use, uh, usually I don't use chemicals, but. The buff out. I think the buff out is the only, only one that I've used, except for maybe Radex. But that's in, like, New Vegas, so... One of the rocks there... And now when I go back to play New Vegas, usually I don't use anything except for stim packs. Stim packs and Sunset Sarsaparilla. Those are my two. Either that or just wait 
in one spot. Because in that game it feels like it heals faster than to do it in this one. If it does it all in this one, I don't know. One of the rocks here. Does it have a symbol on it or anything? Oh, it's behind me? Oh, it'll be highlighted like a chest. Oh, okay. Oh, there's another sniper rifle here. There we go. Now I can repair the other one. Oh, and I got more stim packs. As requested. Beta. Notes. S. Here's that stuff you wanted. If anyone asks where you got it, say it was a gift from your grandma. Happy hunting, E. E. Okay. So now, repair with this one. There we go. Damage 18. Only hidden stash I ever found. Yeah. I think there's a few that I found in New Vegas, but... I don't really remember where. There's the one in Hidden Valley, and then there's, like, another one somewhere else, but... Well, now I have 38 stim packs again. Um, weapons. Okay. Reload my gun. Quest, what's I? Okay, I'm doing deliver Lucy's message. So I'll go back this way. Overpass. Oh. Here we go again. Please, no more. Oh. Oh. Please, no more. Dog me. Buff out has worn off. Oh. How much health do I have? Two. I have two health, okay. Very good. Well. Do two, because then it will stop making the noise. Let me just wait here for 24 hours. Maybe it's only if I have a like perk or something. Been rather busy lately, asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator, a detective for hire, or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Okay. Well. I didn't know that was going to happen if I waited here, but okay. Who the hell are you? I think you're confusing me with someone else. Look, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? What would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. 
do that, and you'll save a man's life. Anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. What is this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Androids. What about human slaves? Don't you try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Can I join the railroad? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Personally, I wouldn't take any perk that just adds points to a skill worthless. Get the ones that either buff you or add damage. Could take a couple of couple for fun like child at heart. Take the educated and comprehension comprehension perks early. Yeah, usually usually I do like the uh what is it? The I forget what it's called, but basically add a point to um, to the special perk. Well, special special points. I don't. I don't know. Like, but usually I do that. Whatever it is, and uh, the other one I've done before is Swift Learner as well for XP. So. Those are the ones that I usually do, if I'm going to be doing those ones. There was another one, I think. I just don't remember what it is right now. You know what you need to do. Pickpocket. Zimmer's key. That doesn't belong to you! <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. I can't take Zimmer's key. Just walking along. Oh. Just walking along. Yeah, I know this game well. There's a perk at level 30 called Almost Perfect, which raises all special to 9. I didn't take any of the special bobbleheads until I got that, so I could raise them all to 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I've already taken some, so... I don't think I'll be doing that route. <laughs> oh. Raider. Ooh, grenade. Knife. Pain. Pain spike armor. The special ones are fine, I just made notes where the special bobbleheads were. Ah. Ooh. Well, I already was down there before.
Okay. Of course, I had no idea about this on my first playthrough. Yeah. I... This is my first time playing through this game, so... I've played New Vegas, but I don't know... You know, the specifics of this game. So... I have experience with the series. I do not have experience with this game in particular. I mean, I've seen Fallout 4 be played through, so... To some degree, I kind of understand that game, but... But that's why, that's why I decided to play this one, because I already did, you know know some stuff about the other ones. So. Um. Okay. This all New Vegas was released on GOG with all the DLCs. I'm going to get it. I only have the base New Vegas game and never played any of the DLCs before. Yeah. I played... I played The Divide and I started the Sierra Madre one, and, uh, but I don't think, actually I think I finished that one too. I just didn't do, <laughs> I didn't actually like, I feel like I didn't really do that much though to finish that. Like it felt like I didn't actually do it the way that it was intended to be finished. So, um, trying to figure out. What else there was? Oh, and then I did... Oh, what is it called? Zion. The Zion Canyon one. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I don't know. But I did, I did end up getting the... Uh, I think it's the game... Game of the year or something like that. But it was on Steam, I think, for like $10 or something when I bought it, so... I just got the game with all the DLCs, because... Well... I didn't really know Fallout, to be honest, like... But my one friend would, uh... Talk about, I think, New Vegas... And I think mm, maybe have mentioned some stuff about three, but I figured it like it sounded like an interesting game to me, so I bought it with all the DLC, and it basically well, it's like my favorite Fallout still after even seeing like Fallout Four, and I did kind of see some of the three DLC, but I don't know. I might end up liking this game more, or maybe not, I have no clue. I've seen parts of the DLCs on stream, Lonesome Road looked good. <sighs> Lonesome Road, is Lonesome Road the one where you go through the, the canyon? Because I think that's the last DLC I played, the one where you go through to the Zion Canyon. No. 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 The way that they're moving currently. Why? Why is that happening? What are they doing? Oh. Okay. Gonna get hunting rifles out of ammo. Oh, laser pistol! I forgot I had this. Did they have any ammo? Just the pool cue. Hey. Shit, you're crazy. Oh. 
Just... Oh, Don't they're kill me. running... Okay. I won't. If only you could talk to them after they, like, start running. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they threw that directly. <laughs> I think the Zion one was called Honest Hearts. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so. Lonesome Road, I think, was the one with the divide. And then... Um... And then there was the Tribal something rather pack, and I think that was just, uh, weapons or something. And then it also raises the level cap, I think, so you can level up higher. I mean, the thing with that, though, is you could... If you cared about level cap, you could just get a mod to do that, so... And same with, like, weapons. I don't think it adds any like exclusive things, like you could find them elsewhere in the game, so whatever the tribal pack or whatever is, you could probably just get a mod, because it's like, I think it's 10 more levels that gets added on to your cap. Though, actually for the mod, okay, so maybe for mods you might need all the DLCs, so never mind. Because, like, it raises the cap even more. I think there's a mod to raise the level cap to, like, 100, so... You could go higher, then. Die! Ah! Please, no more! Oh! I didn't even realize my health. Broken steel and point lookout were good in this game. The pit was okay, some... Got some toys there. Make sure to find all the steel ingots to get all the goodies. Will do. Will do. I'll try to get... Cover. Please, I'm sorry. I was just playing, I swear. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Thought they were gonna swing something happy. Got to repair this stuff back back before. switched no. weapon, and now they started attacking me. Please. Please no more. I'll use uh. nine. Stop firing at me. Oh. Okay. Oh, they threw a grenade again! Ah. There goes my arm. Yep, crippled limb. There we go. And... Aid. And back. Psycho damage. Plus 
plus 25. I don't know if that works with guns, but... It just says damage plus 25. It doesn't say melee or... Yeah, it doesn't say melee or anything, just damage plus 25. Impact, jet, 308, bottle cap, snipe rifle. I think energy weapons were the best in this game, but some of the small guns were fine. One of the best weapons in this game is a Gatling laser called Vengeance. It is hidden in the Deathclaw Sanctuary. Oh, that makes me think of the Deathclaw Cave in New Vegas. Because there was also one of those. Speaking of, I just brought a... I think I brought the Annabelle missile launcher in there and just blew him up. But I died like... I don't know how many times in the process of trying. Aha, uh -huh, that place was brutal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't playing on hardcore, so... I did have companions with me, and so they didn't die. But, regardless, I was wearing like a suit and a hat and died like... Like I said, I don't even know how many times I died before I actually cleared it. And there wasn't... I don't think there was literally anything else in that cave to really loot. Besides like maybe a crate at the start of it. So... It was literally just for fun, I guess, that I did that. Here we go. Reload this. I think the condition of weapons in this game are, like, on average, they just seem lower than New Vegas. Like, finding weapons, at least, that are not you know, more than halfway broken. My game crashed. Oh no. Well, first crash. First crash. That's unfortunate. Move Steam over to my center so I can at least see it. Unless you plan to do melee or an arm build, don't waste points in those skills. Hmm. Uh, I spent like, I think two skill points in... Two skill points in melee. So... Oh, I don't know. With the educated and comprehension perks, you should max out just about every skill. Mm. Let me see. Get this back open again. Ooh. It's a Bethesda game, so speech is always important. Yeah, I usually do, um... Order, Speech, and Sneak. Those are my three that I usually do. 
from the beginning, and then uh, later on, depending on what's going on, I will do other skills. Okay, I have a save. Here we go, at, at that truck, so... Here we go again. Deliver Lucy's message. No, no. Have fight with raiders. First try. This time, on a sneak attack. Well, yeah, I was always a sneaky bastard. <laughs> yeah. Well, because... Usually I steal things for later down the line when, you know... If someone asks you to do something... And, oh, it's like, oh, hey, I actually already have this thing, you know? So... So then I don't have to, like, go look for it if I already have it, or if it's, like, like, if I had more, um, skill points into medicine, I could possibly heal the patients back at the, uh, back at Meta, Metaton? No, Meta, Meta, Mega, Megaton. Yes, Megaton. There we go. Karma is easy to fix, just give a bunch of purified water to the beggars. Yeah. I gotta lower my karma. I, I gotta make... I gotta get bad karma so I can get Jericho to go with me. Oh. Okay. Well. What is my sneak skill at right now, actually? Data stats. 40. Anytime I can get companions, that's the <laughs> that's what I try to do. Pack of cigarettes. Oh, can I hit from all the way back here? Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Might be a little bit of a spicy shot. They have a sniper rifle, so they might have sniper rifle ammo if I just use mine. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Okay. One more shot. If I don't get it, I'm just gonna go further up. Never used Jericho even on my evil playthroughs. There were there are quite a few companions, but one is very special. I will not tell you, you will find out later. Okay. Well I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get Jericho if I can. Um silence pistol. Oh. <laughs> oh, did they drop their gun? I think they dropped their gun. Okay. Um, well now that they dropped their gun... See if I can just see if I can just there we go. Ooh. Caution. Uh, 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 I'm out of that ammo. Laser pistol. Oh. 
caution. We're gonna continue moving up. I see him. Okay. Assault rifle. Didn't use this yet. Closer with this. Okay, gonna get closer with this again. Okay. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Frag grenade. Sniper rifle. Air. This one. There we go. And I think there was another one over here somewhere. Maybe not. Okay. And oh wait, something down below. <laughs> Save now. So if it crashes again, I have my weapons and stuff. box is there anything like that out here oh okay well I saved so I'm good hey pal please no more <laughs> sniper rifle at this range hey okay. no more I tried. And now I get to do it again. Here we go. Pull out something else preemptively. Oh good. Could just use my rocket launcher, but... You know, I don't think I've ever used a bottle cap mine in any game, so... Here we go. Just set it on the car and wait. Wait, am I going... I think I'm going back the other way. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, that goes back. This is the way I think to go. Okay, yeah. see right there yep there we go now I can just take this way back like I did last time oh take <laughs> that fell right through oh no come get me come get me oh look out Okay, that was, uh, pretty good. Lamer again. I'll repair the other one. That was pretty, pretty good. It's 
so whoop. Went back around to get on the wooden board and just... Whoop. Okay. Okay, now I have 60. 60, 13. Is that how much it can hold in a... Okay, yeah. I don't know what to hold on to right now. I guess the laser pistol. I don't know what else gun to be using. I ran out of ammo. Save now while uh, while I have the gun, the flamer. Oh, can't go in there. Oh, I can see through it. Here we go. Oh, well, I saved. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go back this way. Maybe that was who I was looking for earlier, and I didn't realize they were right there. Okay, they had the pool cue. I was already there. What vid what vid card are you using? Oh, I'm using a 1050 Ti. Literally like basically the minimum requirement for like anything. Below the minimum requirement now, I think for like cuz I do play Warzone sometimes and it's below the minimum. I think the 1650 is the minimum requirement for that. At least has a list, but the 1050 Ti works. But, yeah. That's cool. Stream looks great. Oh, okay. Thanks. I've been trying to get the, uh, like the encoder settings to be set to a point where, you know, it looks good and also runs good, you know, that's kind of what I was trying to look for. Because, like, my CPU usage is, like, 2%, so that's the only thing I was really concerned about is CPU. Because right now, I'm using an FX series CPU, which, like, single core performance is, uh, you know, compared to other processors, I guess, from the time. Ah, my legs. Like it just, it just wasn't like the other processors. It's multi-core though is okay for games that actually take advantage of it, but I don't know. I haven't had any uh, issues so far, really. I want to build a new PC, but I refuse to spend as much on GPU as my entire build costs. Yeah. 
understandable. <laughs> I mean, the most I've spent in a while is like, I spent like $50 I think on RAM, because before my system had like 8 gigabytes of RAM, so to even play games like Warzone or whatever, or like PUBG, 8 gigabytes is basically just, it's able to start the game. But like the play is uh it's a little bit spicy. Hey, thanks for following. Yeah, no. Um I used to play like exclusively on a laptop before actually having a desktop. Like once I had my desktop, I've gone through well, now this is the third processor that I'm on. The other ones didn't, like, you know, they didn't die or anything like that. It's just that that is where the limit of the board comes into play is, you know, I'm limited to AM3+, plus, so that's what I have to choose from. And this this processor is literally not even listed as a supported processor for the board, so... I already, I already in, in advanced have another, in advance have another board, like, just in case the board decides to, uh, you know, fail because it's not supported, so. That's the thing. But it was basically just parts that were lying around or were for, like, you know, less than you could get them online, like... This motherboard was like twenty dollars, and uh, yeah, twenty dollars with the processor, um, and then oh, and RAM, I think too. I have a bunch of old PCs that I swap out depending on what I want to play. This PC is running Linux Mint. Ah, uh, yeah, I tried Linux, um, but I don't really know. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to do. Um, I don't, I would say I pretty much don't know how to do anything on Linux, so. I did try using, like, a Windows program emulator to see. Because, like, Linux feels like it uses a lot less resources than, than Windows does. And if I actually knew how to use it, I think I would actually like it more just because of its, you know, uh less resource usage because then you have more performance overhead for everything else so it just feels like you know I, I would like to use it but at the same time it's like the programs I use are you know they don't work on anything but Windows so at least that I know of or I don't really know a workaround for things so I just stick with it because to try to set up Linux, you know, to run through the tutorials and stuff, I wouldn't be doing this probably, but this works great. was a bit of a pain to find certain software to replace what I was used to on Windows. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, like, as long as it works, I don't really care, you know? That's, that's, that's kind of my mentality with things is like, Hey, if it works, I'm not really that worried about, like, you know, that much. Like, if I'm, okay, if I was going to put an OS, like, if a system didn't support anything newer, like Windows 10 or Windows 11, then, yeah, I would go with Linux, like, because, like, uh, for instance, I have an HP Stream, like, laptop, and to it ran it felt like it ran i don't know probably two to three times faster with linux than it did windows but again windows is just what i'm used to as well so it's like easier to do stuff on and i mean i to be honest i don't really use that laptop that often anymore because i was just trying to find something to use as like a bluetooth device 
to play music from because I could do it with my phone, but then I don't have access to equalizer settings because, well, I have an iPhone 6S Plus and uh, I don't know if you were here previously for it, but like it's it's six years old and Apple doesn't have an option for an equalizer for anything. Like, unless you're playing Apple Music, you literally don't have any uh, option. So, but I mean, until my phone is absolutely not usable, then, you know, I'm gonna, I'm fine with it. Like, I don't care. I just connect with them. Um, I'm actually running my desktop Wi-Fi from a laptop right now, so that's what I use to play music if I want to have it equalized. Because, like, my preference is as much bass as possible, so everything else gets quieted down and I just put speakers as loud as possible while everything is just lower so I'm not, like, hurting my ears. But yeah, fun times with technology. Uh, I have 35 HP. Stim pack. There we go. Now I have 81. Where did the... So did the cart just, like, disappear? Never had... Uh, I never have to defrag or use antivirus software. I picked up this... Picked up... Used for $200. Installed Linux. Has a 4790 CPU, 16GB of RAM, 500GB HD. Had to take the cover off to fit the EVGA 97 or 970 GTX GPU and swap the power supply. It's not pretty, but it works. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> My system was just like it was just thrown together with random parts uh, initially. Like it was a Dell case that didn't even fit the because like the the cooler I have is like a Hyper 212 um, and the the clearance for it, there it wasn't. There was not clearance for it. So I ran. I had run the PC without the side panel on, and a. I originally used whatever the OEM power supply to that case was, like whatever the original computer was, because well, it was a. It's a 1050 Ti, and it was a FX 4300. So. It's 95 and 75 watts plus uh, hard drive and fans, so. It was, I think it was probably just barely enough to run the system, but it wasn't like overloading it and it didn't explode, so. It worked. They always use weak power supplies in the OEM builds. The, the power supply I had was like a 270 watt power, or 275 watt power supply. So I think it was enough, but it was like, again, just enough. Like, if I put anything else in the computer, literally, I would probably be, you know, I would probably be over, over the wattage that it was rated for. So like, the 1050 Ti worked, I had it already. You know, uh, the processor and board came from, um, uh, came from one of my dad's friends that was bought for my brother, and then my brother helped me to build my PC originally, and then I ended up getting, because I thought, I was looking at, um, like a monitoring program and I was seeing oh hey my voltage looks like it keeps dropping like down to like 11 point something 11 point three something and I was like um yeah uh I, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is replace my power supply 
So I did that. I bought another power supply. Well, got another power supply rather, and it was like, you know, it it was fine. It still worked, and it still was reading that though. I was still reading that it was dropping voltage for some reason, uh, but. I still never figured that out. I think it's just the board sensor being inaccurate. Because I also, like, just... Maybe in the last year I figured out, oh, well, it's not... Unless you're reading it with, like, probes or whatever on the board, it's not as accurate. So it's like... I don't see it as a concern. Because, like, if the voltage is... If it's dropping anyway, it's not like it's gonna, like, fry my board, I would think. If it was higher than 12 volts, then I would be more concerned, because it's like, well, your voltage is higher, so you have a higher risk of overvolting your board slash components, so. But, you know, that was, that was something I figured out, never really found that there was really a fix for it, I guess. I raised my CPU voltage before, and for some reason, then it was reading like 12 volts, which... You know, off the 12 volt rail makes sense, but it still drops voltage. I don't know if it's like dynamic or something. I don't know what the power supply, or if it's the board, you know. Because it's like a Corsair RM750. Yeah, just an RM750, I think. So, I just bought, well, I just got that because then I can, um, you know, if if later on I want to upgrade something, then I have the the headroom at least in the power supply. But maybe not, maybe not <laughs> anymore with what what cards exist now. If I really wanted to go that high end, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I don't think this desk desktop is going to get switched out with anything until until it's either dead or it literally cannot play anything I want to play, which. Like, I play games like Warframe and uh, Warzone, um, some Call of Duty, I guess, like Zombies, Black Ops, like original Black Ops, Black Ops 3 I did play. Never skimp on a power supply, I love Gigabyte Mobos too. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> funnily enough, that's what I have, I have a... GA78 LMT S2PT Revision 4.0, I think it is. But, again, literally not supported for this processor. Also, the power the power phases on the board are... Uh, it's like 3 plus 1 VRM design, so it's... Uh, it's, it's probably spicy. Probably a little bit... Uh, that, that's why I have a backup board because you know I'm slightly I'm slightly unsure about this board's capabilities. It is running uh, the processor though and it is actively in use and hasn't hasn't had anything like that happen yet. I haven't had it shut off from heat. I've had it shut off from me like trying to clock the processor higher but, I've seen recommendations, don't overclock on the board, uh, this one specifically, so, you know, I'm also, you know, I'm pushing it beyond its, be beyond its even, I guess, recommended capabilities to some extent, sometimes. Right now, no voltage increase, I'm just trying to run this as high as I can without voltage increase, because of that reason. But it's not even running at stock clocks because the board automatically sets it to like 2800, but I have it up to like 3752, I think, right now. Either 3752 or slightly lower than that. I don't really know. But yeah. It, it's, it's quite an experience. Quite an experience. I mean, I had I had my computer crash on me just a couple days ago, so I lowered it more to see if I could get it to be stable. 
I'm actually surprised it has not crashed during this stream. My game has crashed, but my computer has not. So, I think it might be stable enough for at least streaming. But yeah. I have the RAM. The RAM is originally 1600 uh, megahertz, and that's at like 18... It's not 1866 because I raised the FSB. It's like 18, 1880 something, maybe 1870 something. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't even realize I was just like talking and not playing the game. But but hey, I mean I'm pretty pretty interested in stuff like that. I don't know. I think I think the next thing I get though, I think I want something that's overclockable. Even if it means that I'm at another bottleneck again cuz I I enjoy doing it. I'm a big fan of having a case with decent airflow. I like the larger cases easier for me to work on. I've tried overclocking, but I don't feel like the results were worth bar the bother for modest gains just made the hardware burn out faster. Uh, I mean, if you can get extra extra clock speed for no voltage increase, I mean, then then you would literally I would think you'd be doing like basically little to nowhere. But if you can't do it without a voltage increase and it's like you're increasing the voltage like you feel like you're increasing the voltage significantly for a small gain, then yeah, maybe not. But I like like I said, I'm not even at I'm not even at base clock right now because this board doesn't technically support this processor at all. So at least it's not listed. It doesn't even list the the lower power variants of this either as uh, supported. They might have just not updated the support list because it actually did identify as the proper processor. It just, it doesn't have it listed on their website or anything, so. I mean, it works. That's, that's all I care about. Like, like, I now have two more cores and some more performance overhead to hopefully be able to run things smoother so so far it feels like things have been running okay besides like the times I've had it crash because of you know like I said previously just trying to clock it higher if I can I did increase voltage by um, I think I think I did it by 0 .0, 0 .04? Yeah, 0 .04 or something like that. Sounds good. I think we have all the... All have had different experience with builds. Yeah. I've only had experience with... Well, I've had experience with... I'm just gonna say this one. Yeah, I think just this one. This is the, like, only computer that has been built from components. Well, built, taken apart, rebuilt a few times. You know, that I've actually been using, so. I have had other computers that I did try to get working, at least with Windows, and boot into it. Like, before I was using a another desktop with a... It was a Pentium, a Pentium E2140, and that's like 1.6 gigahertz. No, no boost, just 1.6, and that's literally the minimum requirement to run, to run Windows is a 1.6 gigahertz processor, and I think two gigabytes of RAM, but I had like th I think three, so. It could kind of run browsing, and it could kind of do some stuff, but like video playback would stop uh, 
in between like it would um, buffer and uh, trying to listen to stuff on on SoundCloud would be like you know the the audio would be distorted because the processor was like again and just barely just barely able to run things I guess I mean honestly if if I could get Windows installed on a, a lower clocked processor I think it would technically work I think it's just initially though like when copying files and stuff over it just refuses to boot if if you don't have a 1.6 gigahertz processor I tried on a 1.3 gigahertz AMD it's an AMD E something rather I don't know what it is uh, exactly now I think like an E 1300 or something or an E300 I don't remember but it wouldn't it wouldn't do it on that and that's like a it's a dual core 1.3 and the Pentium was a dual core 1.6 gigahertz so it's it didn't boot on it I tried installing it yeah 1.6 gigahertz is pretty low these days so which version of Windows were you trying uh, Windows 7 might work better yeah I tried 10 on a disc and it wouldn't install. Uh, it did get to the actual like selection screen for the install and it got to copying files but then after copying files it would just freeze and it would just stop there. I tried it a couple times and it stopped at the same point at copying files. It might have been, it could have been RAM too though, I don't really know because that that's using DDR2, so it's not even it's not even DDR3 RAM, and I I wasn't able to get it. That was also three gigabytes of DDR2 rather than DDR3. But DDR anything is not listed as a minimum requirement, so I don't know. Uh, I would think maybe it'd be okay because the latency is uh, technically lower. Like, the lower in generation of RAM you go, the lower the latency between, uh, like, RAM accesses. It's just, like, also clock speed, though, because clock speed kind of makes up for that uh, latency loss. Because then once it starts, you know, once it starts the program or starts the thing, then it's okay. But, like, the initial, the initial loading is just kind of eh. So that might be why, because it like starts initially, it gets to like 33% of copying files, and then it's it freezes and stops. I don't have a key for Windows 7, so... Or you know what, I could just use any Windows key to be honest, I didn't even think about that. Because I still have a Windows 7 key on my case that I'm using now. So I might be able to install that on there. I just don't know if I have a reason to do that, to be honest. And I mean... I'd basically be doing it just to do it. Because I have other, you know, I have other computers I could use if I was going to do stuff with them. It, it would be for, like, the purposes... The purpose of learning, if it, you know... The purpose of... I know it can do this. I haven't tried any version of Windows above 7, haven't really felt the need for it. I haven't seen a decent game in years that I want to play. I have every version of Windows except 11, but haven't installed them yet. Yeah. I mean... Here's what I'll say for Windows 11. Windows 11 feels smoother than 10, and... Other than that, I would say, well, there's a UI difference again, and actually there is one thing that I dislike about Windows 11, is the menu, like the, where you pin stuff, I don't know, I just don't, I just don't like it on there, because you can't, you can't merge things together, so you just have all of the apps loose, at least on 10 you can kind of group things together, uh, but... With Windows 11, you're not able to do it. 
you just have them in the center and you click on it and you can see all the icons but you can't order them in any real way it's kind of like an iphone minus being able to put them into a folder like a you know a group i guess like you can move them between pages but you're not able to uh not able to put them in in like a a named group where you you know like for instance you wouldn't be able to make one windows or utilities or something you just have apps or icons that's pretty much it i guess with windows 7 you don't have that functionality either i don't really know i don't remember like you can have stuff in the start menu but you know not grouped together that is one thing that i do prefer about 10 but like 11 like i said it feels like it runs smoother than 10. windows 11 almost feels like linux to be honest like it's kind of a, a eh, i wouldn't say a mix it is still kind of its own thing just it feels smoother that's about it because like the jump from 7 to 10 is like your ui kind of changes and you do get that one thing but other than that yeah if you're on 7 already i would say as long as you're like you know as long as you're fine like and you have i guess an well i mean i guess this wouldn't apply to everybody but an antivirus as long as you have like an antivirus then you're pretty much where 10 is at this point because like 10 just has the built-in defender or whatever and i haven't had an issue with it really it hasn't detected anything recently that was like you know like it hasn't said oh this game is a virus or anything like that it works okay so that's the only thing. From what I've read, the later versions just seem like spyware, which is why I switched to Linux. Yeah. Well, and that's why I disable, like... Oh, what is it? It's like connected user experience or something like that. I disabled that because all it does is, you know, give them data about your operating system. And to me, that just seems like a waste of resources. I mean, you know... Like, I'm... I'm all for optimization and basically getting the most out of something. So then when there's just some random program that's, you know, as you're saying, like taking data and stuff, there's, there's one, you know, it's taking data and there's two, it's, you know, just running in the background using memory that it could be allocated to something else, you know, or, you know, like using for games or whatever, browsing anything. Like, it's just a waste of resources to me. And now with, like... <clears throat> if you first install 11, it's like... Eh. If they want to take that much info from users, they need to just release it for free. I won't pay f for spying. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing now. If you have a key already... Like, if you have a key attached to your Microsoft account, you no longer have to pay for Windows. Like, I just install it, connect it to the internet, and then I have Windows. I don't have to, like, activate it or anything. That's one thing I do like about the newer ones is that you don't need to activate with a key or anything. You just kind of download it, install it. Once you're connected to the internet, if you do, you just have it, you know. It's whatever. But that's the thing, you know. For it to be activated, then you'd be forced to connect to the internet anyway. I guess for keys for Windows 7 and stuff, you'd have to as well. Because how else would it verify it unless it has the keys cached in, you know, into the boot files of Windows? So, uh. I mean, I literally cannot install Windows 11 unless I do a workaround with my desktop, so... Because of TPM, Trusted Platform Module. So... 
I have just stuck with Windows 10 because I don't really feel like doing that for, you know, like the slight performance uh, increase. Even though this system might actually be, uh, it, it might benefit more than my other, the other things I've used with it. Not sure if you've heard of this site, but check out archive.org, the software section. It's amazing what they, what is there. Not like a where site, but I'm not sure what to think of it. Archive.org. I think I've been on that site before to look for something. I just don't remember what. Maybe it was for... <laughs> so... When I was... When I was out... And, uh... I was at a thrift store or whatever. And, uh... They had this Microsoft Sidewinder wheel from, like... I think it was... Maybe from... 1990 something to like 2000 because it had like info about windows 2000 on it but it was a microsoft steering wheel i might have been looking for drivers for that but uh it, i guess it doesn't need drivers they have an amazing amount of windows versions yeah what do you mean you have to just like Go to your browser and search uh, Windows Windows Free and see what you get. A really good time with all all the good uh, good sites, the good sites. Just have uh, just make sure you have an ad block active and uh, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully what you click on isn't malicious and, uh, you know, you'll be good to go. You'll, you'll have Windows. Windows free. Oh, but yeah. Quite, quite a fun time. Quite a good time. Oh, there's an enemy. What is it? You know what? Did I activate? Oh yes, I did activate. I'm gonna back up. Oh, oh. I'm gonna back up. Oh, now I'm in danger. Oh, there it is. It's another vicious dog. Hello, dog. Please no more. There we go. I'm pretty locked down. I use five different blockers on Firefox. Yeah. I just use uBlock and AdBlock Plus, so. Beyond that, uh, I don't think I've had any anything that would not block with uBlock, so. Let me see, what are the other saves I have? I might just get rid of them. Just preemptively, so then... Okay, Vault 101, Entrance. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep. Mm -hmm. This one I might be able to... Yeah, this one I can delete. Because I already have one that's at the entrance anyway. There we go. Uh, no. I use... <laughs> I actually use the Microsoft default browser. I actually use Microsoft Edge. Because it's just built off of Chrome anyway. It's built off of Chrome, and I don't have to install anything else. Check out Privacy Badger. No script. Decentralize... 
Uh, HTPs everywhere. Okay. No script. I think you... Can't remember. I think you block or add block plus actually has a script uh, blocker as well. I think I just use you block now actually. Let me see. Open up the browser. I've already done it once before. Let me see. Yep, I literally only use you block. Never mind. Adblock Plus I removed because it gets detected on websites and it says, uh, please, you know, please disable your ad blocker to continue or, uh, we, we noticed you're using an ad blocker. Please, uh, please disable, disable it or like, uh, Please consider, uh, paying, like, please consider supporting us, uh, on, at, at, like, a, at like, a PayPal link or something. Got another from the start page search engine I'm testing out. I use uBlock as well, yeah. Let me see. Okay, yeah, open the logger. Open the dashboard, more media elements, pop-ups, cosmetic filtering, fonts, JavaScript. Okay, so it can it can block JavaScript, but like Oh wait, JavaScript was disabled for Chrome, but JavaScript was not disabled for Edge if I remember. If I remember correctly, I don't really know. But uh, <laughs> blocked since install, one hundred and eighty nine thousand two hundred and sixteen. Okay, very good. Thank you, you block. Now, and now I hide it back into the extensions. There we go. Yeah, no, I just use uBlock. I don't really do... The most I do is, like, download things from sites that are... That might be a little bit spicy, but... Eh. I don't really... I haven't had any issues with that, though, so... Because uBlock just skips the time that it takes to wait, like, when it says... Um... Like, I guess verifying browser or like, what do you call it? Or whatever, just the delay, the, the countdown before you actually can click download link or, well, download, download file or whatever. It just skips that, so. And for the, like, I guess, you know, fake ones or whatever, you block still blocks whatever would come up anyway, so. That's all, that's pretty much the only thing I use now, actually. Didn't even think about it until now. But here's the thing, it's like, no script causes me some issues, but nothing not easily fixed. Can just allow it to temp or perm to make page work. Yeah. Same thing with U block. I can like, you know, make it just block an element temporarily and then when I come back or like if it asks me if my browser asks me or if U block asks me, it's like uh allow temporarily or uh you know allow allow once or Whatever the case. It's usually, it's usually fine. I, I don't think I've had any issues happen. I don't think I've had anything happen with my desktop ever. 
I don't think I've downloaded anything really malicious or that would cause things to, uh, n you know, not function. I mean, I've purposely done some things that make things not function. So, that's pretty much it. Not anything that I didn't know was going to happen. So, yeah. I mean, besides maybe breaking my <laughs> my game with mods or something, like New Vegas or, I don't know, other games that have, uh, like, patches that people made for them, whatever. I mean, that's, that's, even if it's not expected, it's, you know, there's a chance anyway. So, it's like, not that I don't fully expect things like that to happen anyways. The only thing is, is like, I'm not, I'm not extremely concerned about my privacy that much in that case. Like, yes, I would prefer them not to collect information I don't actively give them. But at the same time, it's like, my internet activity is like, uh, YouTube and SoundCloud for the most part. And it's like, okay, well, if you care about what I watch, <laughs> enjoy, you know? It's content that's available for anyone else to see anyway, so I'm not that concerned. And whatever things that I leave behind is like, the most I do is read, f like, uh, if I was that concerned, it's like I read some forums, you know, when I have a, uh, an issue with a game or something, I just look it up or, uh, whatever else, or like a program isn't functioning the way that I think it should be. There are sites you can use to test your browser and see what it where it leaks, you can decide to fix it or not. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm not that concerned. See, that's- I don't care. I don't care that they're sharing it with other companies and whatnot. I'm not that concerned about that. I could literally care less. I think I'd be more concerned sharing my information with someone randomly on the internet than I would be sharing it with companies. Because, like, I don't really, you know, I don't order things from online, really. The most I've ordered from online is, like, a PC fan and, uh, and my RAM. That's it. So... I don't even, like, you know, I don't really shop online either. <laughs> Actually, a majority... A majority of the things I buy come from thrift stores, so it's like... It's it's local, it's not even something that's... I mean, it's sort of connected, you know, but not really, question mark? Because, like, if they, you know, if they have, like, a page or something online for the store, but... Again, not stuff that, like, that would be information I'd have to give to the store owner or something, and then they'd be like, oh yeah, this is the person or whatever, if they really wanted to say anything like that on, on their site, which, you know, I don't really expect, but, again, not that concerned. Oh, I have discovered Vault 106. Well now. If it isn't the little saint from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah well. Time to die. <laughs> Can't we talk this out? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, now I think I actually am going to die. For real. Because... <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. I have sniper rifle. I have sniper rifle and stim pack. There we go. Oh, I'll switch. Actually, I have missile launcher. 
which I guess I have two of. I forgot again. I must. I think I might have died before I repaired it again. <laughs> okay, save game. Here we go. Worst comes the worst. I'll just use the the missile launcher and shoot them with that. Ouch. Okay. Yep. Aid, stim pack, stim pack, weapons, missile launcher. Okay, pals, please, please no more. What guns do they have? Ouch. I missed. It's pretty good, but other than watching Twitch, reading some new sites, ordering from Amazon, or downloading game stuff, I'm not too worried about the little bit that leaks. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much how I feel. Like, I'm not that worried about it. Like, if someone was concerned with, I guess, the content I'm looking at, it's like, that'd just be like, just telling someone else, it's like, what, what, okay? I don't really care. It's, you know, it's content that I enjoy, so I wouldn't be afraid to share that. So it's like, whatever. Okay. You know, I'm not that concerned about that, and... I mean, recently, the one thing that I've had happen with one of my accounts is, like, uh, Discord or whatever I got. My Discord account, someone got into it, but, you know, that's not from... I would think it's not from that, really. That's, like, you know, my account... I think my password might have gotten leaked from somewhere else, not so much from just looking at... Again, YouTube, SoundCloud, and yeah, sometimes Twitch. Sometimes Twitch, but... Again. Not stuff, you know... Not stuff that I'd be concerned about. Okay. Please no more. Please. Please no more. body is flinging. That's very cool. Much health. I have one more missile left. I missed. I missed with the missile. Okay. Please no more. This... Can, can we... Here. Take this. I brought you a present. Just walk forwards into these, please. I'll inject myself with more. Yep. Yep, just keep walking. Right there. Oh. Okay, that's how much health you have, okay. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Where's my other mine? Thought I was gonna blow myself up with it. Here we go. Sneak, repair. Repair 30 for Metaton. That's... Or Megaton. Yeah, there we go. Metaton. Where's Metaton? Metaton is like... Is that Undertale? I can't remember. Lockpick? I'll get up to 20. Um... Swift Learner, there it is. Additional 10% to total experience points whenever experience points are earned. Comprehension. One additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. Oh, okay. Educated. Three more skill points and advance the level. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I'm gonna do intense training and then. Let me see. Intelligence, agility, luck. Endurance, perception, strength. Hmm. Hmm. 
I think I'm just gonna do charisma. Okay. Well now... Now I get this now. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Talon combat armor. Oh. Talon combat armor. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell the one security armor set then. Eventually. Leather armor. 15. I'll just repair. Repair. Hunting rifle. Is there a pistol? Pulse grenade. Sawed off shotgun. Silence 10 millimeter pistol. <laughs> well, I'm under the weight limit now, so. I'll go pick up the other combat armors and repair that. ER14. How much did I have with the... Okay, so that is more than I had previously. Where did the other body... Okay. It stopped flinging. The body stopped flinging. So I can actually pick up this stuff. Hunting rifle, an X, combat armor. Weapons. Repair. Here we go. Oh, I don't have enough repair skill. But I can sell it if I can keep my... <laughs> if I can keep it under the limit of weight. Well, you may have wasted that. Check out all the perks that are grayed out for their requirements. You may not need to boost any special points to get the perks you want. Hmm. Oh. So I never took the time to think about that, ever. So, like, when you raise your... special skills, like... Does that apply to any conversations or anything like that, or no? I never took the time to actually figure that out. I just kind of went along playing the game and I just increased whatever I think, you know, would apply, but... I don't really... I don't really have any idea. Utility jumpsuit. Oh, I can actually repair it, okay. Slightly. And it's the same one, so... Do that. There, now I have under the weight limit again, but I'm about to get over the weight limit again. <laughs> Private contract. Kill Jerry. <laughs> oh, that's great. Kill Jerry. Jerry was a race car driver. Like I said, the almost perfect perk at level 30 will raise your special. Just put points in the speech for now when you want to. Oh, okay. I forgot. I'm sorry. Does that exist? Is there a perk like that? Or what is it? Yeah, is there a perk like that in New Vegas? Because I don't recall it being in New Vegas. It might have not been added to that game, though. Weapons. It's all good. I don't mean to tell you how to play, just enjoy it. Yeah, no, you're good. Like, I, I understand, you know, you're trying to give me some tips and stuff, but... You know, I just I just don't know the game, so <laughs> I don't know what what is and what isn't, so... It is appreciated. Ooh. Okay. 
gonna save again now after after the the combat that had just ensued. Oh, and I'll read that thing. Boys and girls, we've got ourselves another holier. Oh, holier than thou. White knight needs putting down. Here are the details. Name, Jerry. Race, Caucasian. Sex, male. The bounty is a thousand caps this time around. And for a change of pace, they want the head this time. Good hunting. <laughs> no, no, please don't kill me. I have to go to the racetrack and do the vroom vroom. Though I have not found a race car to drive as Jerry, the race car driver. What is this? Oh, their arm. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I go to Vault 106 now. Because <laughs> I have discovered it. Rocks? Oh. Rock. That's a good... I've played this so many times it's burned into my brain, but from my experience, do not try the unofficial patch. It broke more than it fixed in my experience. Yeah, I wasn't going to do anything with the game until I played it through at least once to know, you know, what it's like with the, uh, I guess, vanilla experience, as you'd say, but it's... So far, I haven't really had anything happen besides the game crashing once, and that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Maybe I would just install, like, an anti-crash or something later on. And what I did with New Vegas is I used to have, like, a hundred and something mods, and the game would just crash every hour or so. So... Now with that even, I only have, I think I have maybe 11, maybe 11 or so mods, something like that. But one was like a weapon pack thing and the others were, the one was a character, Niner is the name, and then the other one was, another one was uh, Anti-Crash. Joshua Graham as a as a companion something like that but that one didn't work I don't think so that one's actually not <laughs> actually a, a functional at the moment but I installed a few mods nothing game breaking a couple that made it so the dog and wandering traders didn't die a small house yeah I mean, if I was going to uh, do mods for this game, I probably wouldn't install that many things. Because, like, I don't know. Um, if it's, if it's like, something added... If it was, like, something like uh, Fallout New California, that was... You know, that's, like, a different, different experience. If it was something like that, maybe I would just do that alone, you know? Because it said, basically, I think, not... Like, it was saying uh, installing mods with it might be incompatible or whatever, but... I mean, I, I don't think I would really be changing anything that was core to the gameplay. Nope. Fault 106. Am I allowed to open this? Oh, I am. Okay. Okay. 
Empty, empty, empty. Oh, this one is not empty. Merc cruiser outfit. Melee weapons, small guns. leave that in there. Cool box. Oh, conductor value 30, okay. Oh wait, I don't have... <laughs> what do I have in my inventory? Carton of cigarettes. Uh, yeah, these take up five. Medical brace. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Data stats. Oh. So what if I... Does this work? Disc. Medical brace. Oh, it's still considered stealing. Because I already stole it. Eh, still too much weight. Um, pack of cigarettes. Eh. I'll just keep the medical brace in there, I guess. Very easy. There we go. Security terminal, easy. Yeah, I don't have science skill. I didn't even think about that for the terminals. Cone. Is there... I thought there was going to be a mine or something there. What? <laughs> what? Hey. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Well. Here goes. Insane survivor. They are insane. Ouch. Please no more. Sniper rifle, assault rifle. I forgot I had this. Aha! No more, please. Sledgehammer. Oh, take the 106 jumpsuit now. know why the purple screen effect happened, but did. Caution. Keep that in there. If I had Jericho, I would have someone to carry the missile launcher. So I wasn't carrying it everywhere now that it's empty. Purple screen again. Why, why purple screen? Please, no more pur purple screen. Merc troublemaker outfit. Okay. 
much is this worth? Eight. This is still worth more than that, so... Oh yeah, this is... Okay. Oh, I have... I didn't know I had three of these. I thought I had, like, two. Okay. Well, maybe... Maybe I can just repair one so I have more, uh... Open space. Repair. Oh, okay, the combat armor can get repaired by... Oh, well, I could have done that, but, you know. Well, that means I can just, uh... I can do the same, then. Oh, wait. Oh, it can be repaired with the Talon combat armor, but the Talon combat armor is not repairable with... With them! Okay, I see. I see, I see. Empty box. How about this one? Empty. Open up. Gonna go down to... Going down to the house of sausage. I have my barbecue shoes on. Please. No more, please. No. no. You know what? I'll take jumpsuit. And I'll take jumpsuit. And oh, they're all the same. I'm not able to repair them. Okay, well. I'll keep one extra then. Or not? No, I'll keep them. I have 11 bullets left in this. What charmer outfit? What is this one? Melee weapons, small guns. Nuka Colas. Or Grunt. Okay. Ah! Okay. Yep. There we go. Uh, 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 there you are. Hey, what? pickpocket. I'm out of ammo. Wait. Did he put away his weapon? Hopeless. Okay. Scissors. Scrap metal. Sure, I'll take the scrap metal. No box. Knife and scissors. D. Okay. Um. Anywhere for me to go here? Don't think so. Hard. Okay. Might not have anywhere else to go then. Until I get more skill. Entrance. Found 
Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Time to inject. Chinese officer sword. Okay. Take that. Damage 8. Oh, that does more than the baseball bat. By 1, though. Here we go. Ready to go. Way more time. Foot locker. Wine. First aid box. Stim pack. First aid box. Stim pack. Or scrap metal. Um, turpentine. Mine box. Oh, frag mines. Turpentine. More. Oh, frag grenades now. Okay. I. Okay. Save. Not over the auto save. There we go. <clears throat> there are two places you can sell or trade scrap metal. One is in Megaton. Ah, okay. Now I'm. <clears throat> I have too much stuff, I think. Security armor. Not able to repair those. Jumpsuit. Oh, I already have a fully... A fully repaired one, so... I'll just drop this. I'll keep that one. Um... Well, now I'm not over... Over encumbered, but... I also don't have room to pick up anything else. So... Let's see. More scrap metal, drinking glass. Oh, ammunition box. Ammunition. Scrap metal. Dart. More darts. Shotgun shell. Easy. I don't have enough lockpick skill. came from Oh yeah Sorry about that <laughs> Like I can I can still see but you know My brightness is at 100% Oh Activate to me a note to me. Version, me. Your brain soft works. A note to me. This place is great. I think it's time to accept the new and embrace this change. Relax. Okay. Another note to me. Come on, don't you like it better here? Breathe deep in the blue. Relax. Please read me. Seriously, this place has everything we need. Enjoy it while we're here. Fine, be that way. I have nothing more to say to you. We're through here. Okay. My brain soft works. To me. To me. Fine, be that way. Okay. Okay. Down in the vault, I go. Oh, hey, pal. Please, no more. Baseball bat. Another one. Time to combine them. 
So then I do more damage than a sword. Oh nope, I still don't. Okay. Please no knife. Ooh, here goes again. Shopping cart. Ooh. Oh, down this way. Or down this way. I'll go to the right. Oh, oh hey! There's some more. Where? Did, the f Did I blind him with the fire? Another baseball bat. Can I do more damage than the tiny sword? Oh, nope. Not able to repair, so I'll just drop it. Not able to open these. Not able to open that. Okay. How about this way? Desk. 308. Dinner plate. Okay. I sleep and heal myself. Oh, now I can. Yeah, uh, cannot sleep. Enemies are nearby. What enemies? What enemies? They are friends until they attack. Oh, empty. Finance clipboard. Cannot sleep, enemies are nearby. Oh, there we go. I want to sleep for 24 hours. I'll just sleep until enemies are nearby again. No. Oh. Sleep again. There we go. And I'm off again to see the friend. Um Oh I guess not. <laughs> uh it did not heal me in one hour. Doesn't waiting heal you as well, though, too? Because, like, it doesn't do that either when I wait. In New Vegas, it did at least. But it could be different. Twenty-four more ammo. Bathroom. Start. Coca-Cola. I'll wait. No more space. Aid. What do I have? Oh, well, I can get rid of the Nuka Colas. Because all I was going to do with them is sell them anyway, so. There.
Yeah, I don't know. Um, because I think in New Vegas I would just wait to heal. No idea about all the versions of this game and what may be different. I have the original on disc and it doesn't use Steam. Yeah, I don't know. Which way? Email dorm. Okay, I think I was down that way, so I didn't go down here yet, or have I? I don't know, I've been down here, I think. I'll consult the local map. Okay. I don't know if I want to go back up. Let's see. I might have missed something. I want to make sure. If you want to get power armor early, try the Anchorage DLC. Best armor in the game at the end. It never breaks. It never breaks. Yeah, no, that is the one that I do kind of remember vaguely. But. Um, notes. Here we go. Feel the love, man. Oh man, I just had to get my thoughts on paper, man. Otherwise, the cat in my head forgets, man. The sky is. The sky is as blue as it needs is it used to be. I'm so happy to be here and my roomies are flailing around in the love mist. Can't remember what I was doing before but man is it great here now. I never thought about it like this before but the walls just need somebody to love too man. Unless you install the unofficial patch then it breaks they ruined it. Oh. Anchorage armor. Anchorage armor, it never breaks. Uh, I don't remember this barrel, but I think I've been down here. Okay, merch armor outfit. Alrighty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go go back up then. I think I got everything down here. Ah, back there. But how do I get how do I get back there? Science labs. Is that back here? Uh, maybe, maybe it's upwards. And I guess I'll just go back up and see. But it's heavy, like 50 pounds. May want to wait till you can carry more. Either that or have another companion. Or we'll have a companion in general. Because I didn't get Jericho yet. And I haven't been back to uh, Megaton yet. So. Right here, okay. Second, so where is that?
Okay, I've been in here, I think. I don't know if I haven't. I don't think, actually. Um, metal box. Oh wait, no, I think I have been. I just didn't get everything. <laughs> I saw something that said pre-war at X. Okay. Oh, carton of cigarettes. There we go. Money. Darts. Cigarettes. Another pack of cigarettes, mentats. Okay. Items. Um. Now I can use the sawed off shotgun instead of the flamer. What do I have right now that I'm. leather armor? Okay. Now I'm ready to go. Um... Go this way. Oh no wait, this is the way I came down. And then over here... If it's not locked... Oh, it is locked. That's right, okay. I do not have the lockpick skill. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any books or anything, so. For now, I go back up. Entrance. That's locked as well. Okay, this goes over here. That's right, this just ends here then. Yeah, I might... I might leave this and... There might be something to do later to come back and figure out. Um, oh. Wait a second. This doesn't say empty, but there's nothing in here. Ding 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 Okay. Um yeah. Well, back to the entrance I go. <laughs> Auto save, but I will also manual save. Caution. But there's someone else still. Still here somewhere? Possibly. Two. 
transit module conductor. Okay. I think I went down this way, or maybe I didn't. Oh. Please be careful. Oh. Oh. Not able to talk to dad. Please be careful. I've already said this before, but if I wasn't- if you didn't attack me, I wouldn't attack you. Should find a bobblehead here. Uh, if you want a minor chuckle no clip up to the ground out- oh, the guard outside Metaton above the robot and talk to him. Okay. You know what? I haven't checked, but does this game... If this game has Steam achievements, I think I'm gonna wait until I beat the game to start doing things like that. Look quick. Oh. I don't think it does. Okay. Well then I might do that at some point. You know what, I think I vaguely recall what happens. Isn't it something about how you shouldn't even be up there and whatever else? Like how you're cheating? Yeah. So I, I kind of know... Like I sort of have an expectation of what's going to happen, but... I don't, re I don't remember it. Exactly, so I'll still do it at some point. Oh, Illuminati. Illuminati with flaming hands? Oh, thanks for the follow, pal. <laughs> Illuminati with flaming hands? Very nice, very nice. I don't know where that comes from, but... It's there. Okay. I think that is everything in this room. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can... Locker. Pack of cigarettes. Crutch. Empty, empty. I'm gonna check these just in case, because the other one said that it was not empty and had nothing in it, so. Just in case. Just in case they are giving mixed readings. Just one of those stupid fun facts. Yeah. No, no. It's sick. It's sick. It's a real good game mechanic. You know, Bill Cipher, Gravity Falls? OMG. Uh. Uh. There are things in the game that weren't documented unless you check the wiki. Ah. Uh. Football. Okay. Hang on top. And through the door I go. 
back into the wasteland that I call my new home. <laughs> Every time it auto saves, I do a manual save. I'm just used to it because of New Vegas, where I've had the game crash before and uh, I lost some progress while I was out exploring. There's this house over here that I could go to. But I did see shooting from there, so I don't know what is in there. Keep the shotgun. Yeah, no, I, I don't really know... Uh, like, if you ask me stuff about TV shows and whatever... Uh, I would say, more often than not, I don't really know. <laughs> so, I have seen maybe a few or so minutes of that show, so I don't really know much about it. Really. I mean... Please, no. Oh. I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay. Okay. Baseball bat. I'm not able to repair my baseball bat. I don't have enough repair skills, so even if I took the baseball bat. Oh my god, I don't wanna die. I wouldn't I wouldn't kill you if you don't attack me. I'll let you- I'll let you go as long as you're not gonna come back and try again. Another one in here? No. This is, oh, baseball. Here, I want- can we be friend? I'll give you baseball. We can play baseball. Throw back forth, you hit with the... bat. No, 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 no. Here, I put my gun away. Let's play baseball. Here, now hit it. Please. Okay. I'm sorry. Not even going to the objective, I'm just exploring. Oh. Oh, okay, friend, please. Here, maybe you and the raider can have a fun time. Did no... Did the mutant know? Oh, okay, I think... I think they might have figured out. They might have... <laughs> might have found me out. Okay, items, weapons, snipe rifle. Please, no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. No more. Oh, reload. Oh, I thought they were done. Okay. Reload. I'll switch to the laser pistol for now, actually. 32 caliber and hunting rifle. Can I repair? Can I repair? Yes, I can. Okay. And some of my playthroughs. Hey! Oh, he's back again! No more! No more! Please! I'm trying to. I was trying to read a chat message, please. Okay. In some of my playthroughs, I would come across friendly oh. super... Where is it this time? Okay, I missed. Oh. Okay. In some of my playthroughs, I would come across a friendly super mutant. Can't, cannot recall his name. He appeared to... to be unarmed. 
I would drop a spare gun and some ammo in front of him. When I came across him again, he would be carrying what I dropped. That's pretty... that's pretty sick. If only... if only I could do that with the raiders. Because they, they didn't... he didn't have a gun. He didn't have a gun, he just had the bat. He was hitting me with the bat. I could drop him a gun or two or something. I have a Chinese pistol, I have a... Uh, um... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have other... There's other weapons on the ground. I mean, hey. If I, if I could actually reason with them, you know. Pulse grenade. Do I have anything to drop right now? I don't really have a place to store things yet. Um... Could drop... One. Maybe not. Um... Drop... Scrap metal piece. There we go. At me. Can we be friend? I know. I know craze. Okay. I'm just gonna continue walking this way. I might get hit in the back with a baseball bat again, but... That's okay. Just keep going. Oh. Firework? Firework in there? Hello. Is that? Oh! Hey! Firework! Hey, pal. Okay. Well, I'll let the mire lurk be. Go up to the bridge. I'll go over to the other bridge, I guess. What's going on over there? Another one of those. Okay. Weapons. Hunting rifle. Oh, it knows. Oh, I missed. Here we go. How you for? Hmm. Maybe I'll just stick with the hunting rifle until... Until further on. Mirelurk? I just want to say hi. Okay. Drag mine. But I don't think I'm going to use... Oh. They run away. Okay, well, then I'm not going to attack it. If it runs away. Is it... It's the same one again. Here, take this. And no more, please. Okay. Put those away. Hunting rifle. See, I would say those look like some pals, but... Oh no, it's giving me red on my... Uh, indicator. Hey. Do you want to be friend? I want to be friend. Oh. Caution. Do I have a rifle? What is the water? Hey. Is that an no, Okay, no. I thought it was- I thought they were holding an incinerator. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna see something now. I just noticed at the top of my screen. Or the top of my stream, rather, I guess. That this doesn't seem to be... Oh. Okay, yeah, this is, uh... I don't think this is functioning anymore. Use chat log mode. Read from file? Oh yeah, I don't think this is functioning at all anymore. Because I did have this set up to... ...do, um... ...like, uh, what do you call it? The followers thing at the top. It's not actually, um, reading followers anymore. So I don't know why, why it's doing that, but... Uh... And I don't know how to make it do it again, so... That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go check... I'm gonna put this on BRB, but I'm still gonna be here, I'm just gonna see... Oh yeah, no, this is not working anymore. Okay. It is not working. Unfortunately. So I'll just hide it for now. Mm, same with here. Sorry about the, uh, the switch through, but... If it was functioning, I'd keep it and I wouldn't be switching through all the scenes or whatever, but... It seems to not be working, so... It was just kind of something, you know, so that I could let people know, like, I appreciate them following and everything, but for some reason it just isn't working, so... Oh, here they come. Here you go again. Please. Three. Oh. Okay. Out of ammo in that. Won't well, let me do this again. <laughs> hey. Woo! How much is that damaging me, though? Okay, I'm fine. Cool. So... What do I have that I can shoot? Um... Can do the laser pistol again. Shotgun's almost out. Can still use the sniper rifle, but I don't know if I want to be using that right now. I don't know if I have anything else, I mean, I can use the pistol, the silenced one, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I like it for its fire rate. And it's... to me the accuracy doesn't seem too bad, it's just... I'm out of ammo. There we go. Oh, radiation. Please. Please, no more. <laughs> oh. Have this out, I guess. It's at half condition. Cool. Cool. That's a knife well. There. Where's the other... 
body go? <laughs> Forget how far out they were. Well. The laser rifle rocked and it's in and it's improved variants. Yeah, and uh, New Vegas I have like a tri-beam laser rifle, but because it's tri-beam it also uses uh it also wears faster, so and I can't repair it with a regular laser rifle either, which is unfortunate cuz like the wear is I don't know if it's worth using for how quickly it wears down except for maybe things that uh you know <laughs> it can like kill one shot Fry beam sucked i ate up ammo yeah i was fine with ammo i had like thousands of thousands of shots it's just it just was the condition was going down so fast with it that I didn't think it was that worth it to keep using. Like, I just have it to have it, but, you know, I don't think I'm actually going to be using it. Properties. I want to try to figure out... Gradient. What you want is the metal blaster from the pit. It was awesome. I mean, I can see, I can see what I can get. I do try to save caps if I can, but so far it feels like, uh, yeah, it's been a little bit, a little bit spicy. The thing is, I always, like, almost always buy stim packs whenever I see them. Anything else is just like, eh. If, if I have guns and ammo, then I'm fine, but, like, if I don't, then... Ammo. Recent followers widget, so, like... Yeah, I think this just broke. I think it just broke entirely. I don't think I'm able to use it anymore like I was. Which, yeah, which is unfortunate because I spent, well, eh, I, I don't know, I don't really care about, <laughs> I don't really care that much about the time I spent to do it, it's just like, it'd be nice if it worked, so. Yeah, no, there's not even an option to read from the followers anymore, or if there was, or whatever. I bought every electron charge pack I could find in anticipation of getting vengeance. Yeah. I forget. I think there was another thing in New Vegas similar to that. I just don't know. I also feel like it might have been named the same thing. I just... I have no clue, though. I'd have to, like, open... I'd have to go and open New Vegas to figure that out. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to remove the, the recent follower thing. I do have the thing on my Twitch, uh, page or whatever, so I guess that is, that is, that is how it is going to be for now. I want to try to figure out a way though to get it back up. I'll do it, I'll probably do it off stream, so it's not like I'm switching through scene after scene to try to get this to function. Gunrunners had the best stuff in New Vegas. Yeah, I got, I think I had the GRA anti-material rifle, GRA, uh, I don't know, I had something else GRA. But then I also brought stuff back from the Zion uh, Canyon. Now the stuff in the Zion Canyon, that... I feel like that was some of the better, like, guns and stuff. Like, in terms of raw overall damage, I would say probably anything in the Zion Canyon was... almost... almost the best, like... The anti-material rifle, I think, will be definitely 
you know, one of, I would say one of the best weapons, the GRA variant with like the, the fire bullets, I think it is, or something like that. I, I don't know if it was that specifically, but there's also like the riot shotgun, which I just really like for the, the fire rate. And I, you know, I like shotguns, so it, it was, it's a fun time to say. It's a fun, fun weapon. Well, I can only speak of the base game since I don't have the DLC. He's gonna download the full game from GOG soon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Honestly, I think... I think I would still enjoy just the base game to keep playing over and over again. The only thing is, without the DLCs, some mods don't work, so like modding the game, if I didn't have the DLCs in the first place, then I might not even be able to use mods and stuff, so... You know, that, that would be kind of be... That would kind of be unfortunate, you know. Because that's kind of... Eh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily part of the replayability, because like... I've played the game through multiple times and I think I would still I think I'd still be willing to restart the game again even if it was just the like base game. Cuz I don't think there was really any point in time that I didn't enjoy playing the game. It's kind of like this so far. I don't think I've really come across something I didn't, you know, enjoy in the game. But it just might be... It might just be the the games I play too, though. Because, like, as long as there's something going on in a game, I usually, you know, find something to uh, entertain myself. Like Warframe, for instance. I could probably go back and play the game for a few hours, even though I've already played through it, and basically have every quest done. It's just like... You know, I wait for, I usually wait for when they update uh, for new content and stuff. But I don't have, I don't have every Prime item, so I could be still looking for that. And uh, I don't have some of the stuff they released recently, so I could go and get that. But that's kind of the thing that I've heard people dislike about the game anyway. It's like, you know, you grind for hours for one thing, but like, I don't know. To me, it's a grind that is fun to do and I I like experimenting with the mods and stuff in the game so it's you know but that's just me like I can kind of understand because you know you wait for stuff for like 24 to 72 hours to build even after you get all the stuff for it so but it is also a free game so I don't know how else you would fund the game really I mean, you can speed up things building, or, like, you can buy cosmetics and whatever else, but... That's one thing, though, like, there's one thing I dislike about cosmetics and packs in the game is, like, some stuff is tied to a pack that you have to buy or you don't get the thing and there's no other way to get that thing. That is the one thing I dislike, but... Like, for weapons and stuff, it's all obtainable. It's not anything you couldn't get. You would just put the time in to get it. And that's the thing, though. Like, I also get that argument. It's like, you could spend your time on a different game and, you know, you might enjoy it more than just grinding for stuff, so. If you played through the story and that's all you play the game for, well, then you might not have anything to do once you get to that point, but... Eh. I mean, later on, it's kind of like, how efficiently can I kill things, and how how effectively can I use my weapons and warframes with what I have available? You know, it's that's sort of what it becomes, I guess. For for me, that's basically how it is. It's like, uh, I don't know. By like, if I'm playing a certain mission or something, I sit there and like it. For instance, a defense mission. Um, 
you can go in indefinitely and as long as the as long as the thing you're defending doesn't get destroyed you can literally just go forever um, so you can take the time to make your warframe or character whatever you want to call it uh, you can make it just have more health or be more effective in uh, some whatever degree you want it to be like do you want abilities to reach further do you want abilities to be stronger do you want you to be stronger in the sense that you can live for longer or take more hits or do you want to you know like put put more uh you know one one aspect or the other or like for weapons do you want a weapon like for me it's like oh do i want my weapon to like empty empty its magazine in <laughs> two seconds or do i want it to do more damage but fire slower <laughs> But for me, it's like, uh, I kind of want my weapon to fire <laughs> extremely fast. As long as it can kill something, I still enjoy, like, the weapon, because it's just, you know, its fire rate is high. It, it, you know, depending on whatever I'm looking at, but yeah, it's, it's fun times. I keep forgetting that I have... <laughs> I'm carrying too many things to be running. Let me see. Security armor. Security armor. That's the thing. I think that's the heaviest thing. Oh, nope. Talon combat armor is the heaviest thing I have. Uh, I want to keep one of these. So I'll drop that. Yeah. Because once I get somewhere to put stuff, I'm gonna pretty much put those put those away. So then I still have them if I wanted them for some reason. Oh no, wait. I just remembered why I kept that so I could repair it, but... Uh, well, I guess I could pay for it to be repaired somewhere. We'll either sell or drop stuff. You carry too much junk you will never use. I guess the scrap metal. I mean, I could drop the scrap metal. Oh. It just... Blew up. Okay, you know what? I think I do recall this too. Something blew up in the tunnel, and I think... Oh, lockpick. I do not have the... Okay. Well, that fence is, uh... I think they were sealing it off or something? Oh. Red line. Northbound, red line, train yard, southbound. Resty station. Didn't just happen, oh. Disarm. Watch the ground for mines and stuff. Oh, or that. <laughs> oh, stepped in one. Ouchie. There's a mine. Got it. Oh, okay. That goes back out there. You can sell scrap metal to Walter and Megaton or trade it for items at the Museum of History. You should quit the game and restart. Game is going to crash when you see that screen full of icons. 
<laughs> Maybe, I don't know. It might be okay, who knows? Explosion down here. Ah. Okay. Hit me with baseballs. Value 10. Oh, I gotta carry. <laughs> Speaking of carrying too much stuff, gotta pick up all these baseballs because they're worth 10 each. How much do they weigh? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I could pick up all the baseballs and go sell them. Baseball, baseball, baseball. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh. I said value 10. Well, I'll keep the one then. Okay, what do these say? Because these ones I think came out of it too. Yeah, value 10. Game. Value 10, weight 4. Okay. That's also not. Ouch. How are my legs? My legs look like. Oh, they're half. Okay. I'm down to 45. <laughs> well, I thought, you know, I said I was gonna look at the floor and look for traps, but uh, I haven't been. Oh, it may hold up for a while, but that screen indicates issues. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try this again, and not, s and hopefully try not to step in some more bear traps. Can I? Not high enough to disarm. Okay. Oh, there it goes. I forgot I had the pistol equipped. Do I have anything else to use though? <laughs> I don't think so. Chinese pistol. I'll conserve the suppressed. Oh, this again. You wanna you wanna shoot me again with those? Val, 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 Val. Uh, I'm just gonna say this in advance. If the game crashes again, I think I might, I might be done after it does. Um, I haven't had anything to, uh, to eat or drink for like the last. Well, that's not true. I did have... I had soda. I had... I think a few sips of soda. Like... Seven... Seven and a half hours ago. So... But I didn't eat anything, so... That might be a... That might be a stopping point. Haven't... Eaten, used the bathroom, or drank anything since then. I'm just too... Too... Too immersed in... <laughs> in Fallout 3. Oh, I'm sorry, Meyer Lurk. I don't mean to do this to you. See, if, it, if everything was not... If... If not everything was hostile, I stepped- did I- yes. Yes, you have been here for a while, take a break. <sighs> not- not yet, not yet. Oh! Ah! Can I have this? No. I don't know where to be going, I'm <laughs> getting shot. <laughs> Peril. 
ele. I mean, if you're saying I'm loving this, enjoying this stream, thanks. Thank you for the tips. Because I don't really know... I don't know this game, so... Can I have these? I cannot disarm. Can I just... Yep. Ouch. We're still close enough to make them damage me. I didn't know if they were gonna explode or not. <laughs> Please, no more shotguns. See this one now. Where is that even? Oh. This is that. Oh. I don't think I can shoot it down. Oh. There's a person down here. I will throw some stuff at you when I feel it's relevant, but I want you to experience this for yourself. Yeah, no, no, thanks. Like, like I said, it's, it's appreciated, because... It, it's it's fun. It's fun. Oh come on! Pay more attention to what you're doing. Pay more attention to what I'm whoa, doing. Whoa, whoa! Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Beach 51. I really need to get by you. It's important to find what I'm looking for. Speech 51 percent. I'm wondering what I could do with all these spare caps I have. Just exploring. Sorry. Not telling you, Jack. Now let me get by. Hang on a second. I have a letter for for Ian West from his sister. Oh. Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Sorry. I have to go now. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Hey. Sorry, I don't... I'm, I... I just... Just curious. Okay. Yeah, I'll close the gate for you. Oh. Wait. This one? No. It says it's empty and then not empty sometimes. Okay. But it is empty question mark. Average. Dart. What are the darts for? I'm just gonna keep picking them up. I mean, I don't know. They don't take up any weight, so I don't care. Dead. Have you ever played any of the Elder Scrolls games? Nope, I have not. Okay. Though I also haven't been... Uh, like, I don't think I've played any medieval games except for like chivalry years ago that's that's the thing like the first like I think the first chivalry that is that is the one medieval game I played and I don't think there were any servers online anymore like from that era you know Kind of games. RPG and other Bethesda series. Somewhere okay. Yeah. I mean, if I started playing it, I probably would. I feel oh, like I might okay. enjoy it. What's up? Oh, I'm just. Don't worry, I'm just trying to take your mentats. You know? You're listening to Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, 
president of the enclave. President but, of the yeah, I haven't played any of them, but I also haven't been, like, interested in them either, so. But, like I said, if I started playing it, maybe, maybe I would like it, but I don't really know. All Out was a game that I've played for years. Just New Vegas, actually. Only New Vegas. And uh, it was just... And it was something I've seen be played, you know. Um, I've seen a, some of uh, Skyrim, you know. But... I've seen some Skyrim, Oblivion, um, I think some Morrowind as well. Like I've watched some streams that were recorded or whatever, like uh, Vine Sauce, yeah, Vine Sauce Joel. That is who I watched it from. Vine Sauce or Forge Skeletor Joel. I watched Morrowind from there, I think maybe some of Oblivion, uh, Jerma I think played, um, I think it was Oblivion, no, Morrowind, Morrowind. I get that, I hated RPGs in my younger days, shooters were my main love, but then I found a couple that were okay and I got hooked. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> well, here's the thing. Like, I like I like games like, uh, I guess just for their story. Literally, literally, I would sit down and play, or I guess read a visual novel. If there was something like, if it was a thing that I was interested in, I'd probably just sit down for a few hours and read through it because, you know. Like, that's the thing, though. For me, it's like story, story or gameplay, and if, you know, if it's a story that I thought was pretty interesting, then, you know, I'd sit down and probably play it for a little bit and whatever, or finish it even if it's, you know, not like a, not like a game that, or, well, a novel that has... M uh, a multitude of choices that could lead to whatever else. Like, I've... I've kind of gone through a couple, but... Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not... I don't... I feel like I'm not that picky about gameplay, but it's kind of like... The premise, I guess, or, like so much maybe the time period too so i don't know if you know warframe at all but it's like a sci-fi i guess kind of shooter game like a sci-fi shooter uh kind of parkour-esque type movement and stuff like it just it just feels smooth and Smooth and entertaining. Smooth and entertaining. I don't know. Gameplay-wise, it's it's just got, like, a gameplay that... Like I said, I could literally have basically no objective, really, except for getting things and still enjoy it. I love Morrowind. That was the game that sucked me in. I have played it for over ten years. have never found a game that had so much content. Still looking for its equal. Still haven't found it yet. I've tried over 360 mods for it. Yeah. That's how it was for me with, like, New Vegas when I got it. Like, I, I would just spend hours, like, looking through ne the Nexus and trying to find mods that were ones that looked interesting. Tried, like, a few different, um like, uh, companion mods and stuff, and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, 
I feel like New Vegas is the one that I've spent the most time with, uh, RPG-wise. Um, but honestly, honestly, I don't know what my favorite is at this point. Because, like, I don't know if you've ever seen the game, like, I think it's called Road Dogs. Like, I kind of like the story. Uh, sort of, like, I don't know if it really has a story per se, it's kind of like make your own, but the towns and stuff have characters and whatnot. The only thing about it is, like, the gameplay is kind of top-down, and it's like you're kind of a blip on the map, and that's pretty much how the rest of the game is. And, like, I don't... I don't like to admit to things like this, but it's like, I don't know. It just felt like, maybe it was just the lack of feedback or whatever, but, you know, since you're just a blip on a map shooting around you, it's it just wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. You know, I thought I was going to physically be seeing the vehicles and stuff that was on the map. Because I, I don't really play a lot of like strategy type games unless I can visually see what's happening you know because like it's just kind of a game where you go from town to town you can uh, deliver people you can deliver goods you can do that kind of thing it's just I don't know it just wasn't as interesting as playing something with like a 3d environment I guess like because I do like the dialogue between characters and stuff, it's just... The in-between the dialogue and actually doing the tasks just isn't... It's just not as fun without the 3D environment and the feedback that you would get, I guess, from having a 3D environment, you know? Because if it was top-down with vehicles and buildings and stuff that you could actually see, then I think I would be more interested, like, to explore and whatever else, but... I mean, yeah. But it is, it was free when I got it, so it was, it wasn't like, you know, I paid anything for it to play it, it's just, even for a game that's free, it just wasn't, I don't know. I felt like I could be playing something else and get more enjoyment out of it. Because that's the thing. It's it's like, I think it's open PvP basically all the time unless you're close to a town, so... You're just watching... Uh, bullets or shells fly back and forth, but you don't actually see the vehicles they're hitting and you don't see anything else around you. It's just kind of you drive in, in open, on an open map. And that's, that's kind of the thing, it's like, do I really say drive, or is it just moving, you know? You're a blip that shoots shells and bullets. Kind of like, um, kind of makes me think of, uh, Ex, Ex Machina, I think it's called, or something. Uh, it's Hard Truck Apocalypse, Ex Machina. That game is see that's different it's like road dogs except it's 3d but it's also a game from i don't know i think like i think it is actually like 15 to 20 years old but but it still has 3d graphics and uh like you can see the vehicles you can see the upgrades that you're doing to your vehicles you can see like, you know, there's animations and stuff. And I, I don't usually, you know, think about that kind of thing when I'm playing a game, but, like, it just felt like it was, you know, it didn't have that much to, it didn't have that much to look at, I guess. It's so much to the point where it just wasn't fun for me to play it. But, yeah. Because I played that a little bit, um, 
hard truck at least. Hard truck apocalypse. Didn't realize that was a game, I thought. Mesh, mesh, Makima probably spelled wrong with some kind of mashup of parts from various games. Um, uh, well, it's like, it's kind of like a vehicle combat game, uh, sort of like Twisted Metal, but with an open map and, uh, you can buy upgrades, you can do quests. There's actually, there is a story to it. I've just gotten through... Uh, a little bit of it. It's so far I don't really know yet if I would, you know, necessarily recommend the game, but I also don't think. I think it's like four bucks or less now because, again, it's like a 15 to 20 year old game, so. I mean. But for what it is, I actually enjoyed it and thought it was fun. It's sort of like Warframe. It's like. I'm not so much drawn in, I guess, by the story or anything, but like progressing to get new things and stuff like that and see the rest of the map is, you know, is interesting to me. Like, yeah, the story, like so far, I've only progressed, I don't know, if there were chapters, probably two or three chapters out of the like 20... I don't know if you would say chapters, it's like cutscenes. You get cutscenes. And you get to new areas eventually, I guess. But, again, I haven't really played all that much of it. Um, have you ever seen the game Cross Out? That is by the same people who made that game. Vehicle combat game, except it's... Except Cross Out is PvP, and they are doing a PvE thing. But you can actually build things from like part by part and it's uh it's kind of like pulling parts from a scrapyard sort of thing sort of like that but yeah it's i actually really i enjoy that game too like i don't know like i've said this to people before I just like I just like enjoy free to play grindy games for some reason it's just something about it that just keeps me entertained I don't know if it's like just progressing from one thing to the next or like games that you can build your own stuff and whatnot it's just kind of exploring experimenting you know with things and seeing how they work in an actual combat situation with someone or whatever it's it's interesting kind of like how I that's kind of why I like uh, Counter-Strike and uh, Warzone and like I like games that have dynamic uh, dynamic um, situations I guess or dynamic aspects like variables that, you know, you don't necessarily account for, but you can maybe adjust for in a sort of way. Is it on PC or console? If on console, I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge of some of that. Uh, I have... I prefer the PC. I just cannot get used to the controllers, keyboard, and mouse feel more natural to me. Yeah, no, it's on, it's on um, console and on PC. I don't know if it's on... I think it's I think it's on Xbox and I think it's on PC. I don't know if it's on PS4 or 5 whatever. But yeah, it it is uh it is available on PC. But I got in I got in when the open beta was still going on for the game, but I think even since like, ever since beta, I still... Maybe with some of the stuff that they added, I don't know. It's like... Eh, but... I would say, overall, the game is still... Still... Maybe not as enjoyable as when the beta was happening, honestly. But... 
that's probably because I've spent hours already playing it, so... I mean... I would still say it's a fun game to just kind of build things or try to, like, replicate other cars using the parts that you get and whatnot. Or, like, you can buy stuff, because the market is player-run, so... The market is player-run, and, uh... So they set the prices, it's not like a set price. So it's kind of like... I guess you could kind of compare it to, like, a stock market. You can buy up multiple parts at one time if you wanted to. And then you can sell them all back on the market to make make coins and then the coins can be traded again for other parts and stuff or like you can gain parts in battle and then you craft them into other stuff it's you know it's just kind of a game I guess about getting things and building stuff and experimentation I would say but you know oh there it is the game didn't crash the game didn't crash. I've heard other people refer to it as like a twisted metal, but you build your own cars kind of thing. Like Mad Max and twisted metal is what I've seen some people compare it to. Just because of the certain like, uh, I would say maybe like the style of parts and pieces that you get. But, yeah, no, it's it's a game that I like playing. It's just, I don't know. I haven't played it recently, so. I don't know how it's been in the last couple, I would say couple to few months, but when I did play it, I, I still thought it was pretty fun, and I actually built a couple different like cars and stuff on there. Sounds cool anyway, yeah. I mean, I don't... I don't know what to really recommend, because... Like I said, it's, it's kind of one of those games where there really isn't... I mean, I guess PvE now, it does exist. There's some sort of story, but like... Before, it didn't really have any, any like, story or anything to go off of. It was just kind of, you know, build things, fight each other. Whoever wins, wins, and whoever loses, loses. You get rewards at the end, and, you know, you sell your rewards, or you keep your rewards to build stuff. Um, whatever you decided to do, you just sold it or kept it. And, uh, yeah. Because, like, you get... You could get machine guns, shotguns, cannons, uh, a couple different cabins that you build your vehicle from uh, to start with, and then later on, if you sold enough scrap metal, or if you sold copper, or, um, like if they had a special event, you can buy, uh, paint and stuff. Or, like, you can buy it from the market as well, because, like, you know, there's there's various different ways to get stuff and whatnot. It's just, which way do you think is more efficient, or, like, what way do you want to get your things, basically? And then once you have them, you just build whatever with them. Uh, structural parts you gain from just leveling up, so, like, weapons and stuff is usually earned... Otherwise, like, you know, by other means, like market or specific missions, and then if you join certain factions, you can get certain parts. Sort of that kind of thing. Oh. I forgot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save again, actually. Rihanna. I forget who I was gonna give the thing to Hello there stranger Hello there stranger Who's this Welcome Vance. To, welcome to our home My people call me Vance 
I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Oh. Have you heard of APB Reloaded? <laughs> um, I think a majority of the people I've talked to about the game said they did not like the game. But that is also probably one of my favorite games, to be honest. Because it's one of the games I spent a lot... Like, I spent a thousand and something hours in that game. Because character customization and car customization. It's just like... Again, it's another one of those games where, you know, you sit there and you just get stuff, basically. It has sort of a story, but it's like... It's just kind of you read stuff. You know, you read things. You don't really witness things or have cutscenes, it's just kind of you gain things. Ah, uh, you know the game, but have never played it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... I don't know how the game's doing now, because I did play... That's another one I haven't played, really, in a few or so months. But... The game... Okay, the game originally was Real Time Worlds owned it, then Reloaded uh, Productions owned it, and then now Little Orbit owns the game. It transferred, you know, between three different owners of the, the game. I guess publishers, I guess you'd say. But the thing about it is... Uh... I've seen some videos about it and people saying that it was never really successful or didn't really have the numbers that they were looking for, like players and stuff, but I don't know. I kind of played for, I played for a while, somewhere in between I found a couple people to play with and that was pretty, you know, that was pretty fun. And then. Later on, I found a group of people, then I got invited to a Discord server, and while well, I'm still in there, I just haven't really talked in there in a while, besides, like, someone was telling me about New World, I think it is. Uh, I can't, I think that's what it is, a New World or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, you can make... You can make songs, you can make symbols, you can make, um, like you can customize cars to a certain extent, but like you earn, you know, customizable parts, like you can buy them later on. Uh, you can, it's again another player run market, so you can buy other people's stuff and share symbols and you can send them in mail and stuff like that in the game. It's, you know, I think it's still one of the games that has one of the better customization systems that actually exist. Because, like, make your own symbols, make your own songs, make, you know, just kind of make things that you want to make and they are in the game. The only thing about it is, like, the rest of the gameplay is, um... Well, it's a game, I think, from 2010? No. I think it's 2008. It's a game from 2008, like a multiplayer PvP game uh, from 2008, and... Well, I don't think much has changed from, from 2008. <laughs> so that's kind of the thing, is... Uh, performance-wise, graphically, like, eh, graphically, I, I, I don't personally care that much, but, again, it's, you know, there's other games that you could be playing that are similar in whatever else. I mean, I actually find it more fun than GTA Online. <laughs> It's like a kind of cops and robbers type of game, I guess. Uh, it's criminals and enforcers, and enforcers will... They can take care of what criminals do, like, you can rob places, you can... 
uh, rob in the sense is you break windows by running into it with a car or backing into it with a vehicle or something. You load the stuff up, you bring it to uh, like contacts that you have in the game to get stuff. And then you make money. Uh, well, you get the money from them. And then you go and you go launder the money. So you can, someone can witness you and chase you down and uh, if you don't launder, like if if they kill you, they can take your money and then they can bring it back to like, I don't know, I haven't played an enforcer yet so I don't really know. But they can take it back and they can make money off of your, you know, your actions that you did. So like if you took something or if you were robbing people on the street, because you can do that too, so. It's, it's all right, I would say. Right now, I think they have, I think it's free premium games. Or what, not free premium games, free premium for your account, rather. So then you gain double, double the experience, and I think you earn more money, so. Something like that. More experience, more money, maybe not double, just more on top of what you already earn, depending on what you do in a mission anyway. But they did that, like the little orbit took over and they did that for people who are, I guess, at home for COVID uh, or whatever, so. Yeah. They did, they did that and they did some vehicle handling changes and they're trying, I think they're trying to bring it to Unreal 4 uh, engine because it's on like Unreal 3 or they have it sort of in between 3 and 4 but it's not quite, you know, at 4. They're trying to do the uh, engine upgrade, I guess you would call it. It was something that was talked about um they talked about it with reloaded reloaded talked about it and then it never happened uh so now they're trying to do it what reloaded did not but i don't know i don't know if the game i don't know how they're funding the game to be honest, because the most players I've seen on the game and well, when I last played it was like maybe a hundred players and servers are like 50 versus 50, basically, or, you know, 50 enforcers, 50 criminals. So having a hundred on is like, you know, you have a server then if they're all playing on the same server, though, because there's. There's Waterfront, Financial, and the Social District. The Social District, you can make stuff. Uh, financial and Waterfront are just kind of like two different places to do missions at, so. Yeah. That's kind of the thing. Player base, maybe. Anyway. Sorry if I'm like just, you know, ranting or talking about things, because like, I don't know. It, it, like, I just, just experience with the game, I guess. I don't know. Like, if I, if I ever go off on, like, a tangent or rant or anything like that, and it's just, like, you know, whatever, I apologize, and if you, <laughs> I don't mind if you say something, like, you know, because it's just... Sometimes I do. But, like, when it's something like that, when it's a game that I've spent, you know, years playing, you know, it's something that I... I guess I just have in the back of my mind. So whenever someone mentions it, it's like... You know... I just start. I just start. But... Here we go. This place is very different from any other settlements I've seen. What is this place? I think I've stumbled across the world's first underground insane asylum. What is this place? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. 
It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Allow Vance to continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Speech, 50%. None of this talk is necessary, I know exactly what you are. Uh... Your ways, so you're reforming these people? What do you mean? Wow, you're a real human... 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 Okay. Human... Humanitarian. Humanitarian, there we go. Humanitarian. I didn't read it at first, and then I was just like stuck on human... Human eye, and then it's like, oh, humanitarian, okay. None of this talk is necessary, I know exactly what you are. Uh, 50%. 50%. Uh, I'll try? You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? You're vampires, at least you follow their fictional traditions. If I said vampires, and you said I was right, we'd both be crazy. I say- I still say you're cannibals. I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. You're vampires, or at least you're- you follow their fictional traditions. Well, I guess the top one is the one I'm gonna go with. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Oh, I can see. Yeah, I think... This may... This may be... This may be it. Because the, the text, the options, the selections... They're like, it looks like they're loading in individually, so it might crash here. Ooh, and when it does the selection, like the square. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings? What you're doing here is brainwashing them, plain and simple. Come on, Vance, you're on a power trip. You mess with their minds. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings? Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Tell me about the family. What is this place? Um... Tell me about the family. The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. What is this place? You are standing inside Maresti, the home of the family. This is our sanctuary from the outside world. It is a refuge for those society labels as outcasts. <laughs> I 
have to go now. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. Okay. I am a guest. Ooh. Save here. Okay, let me... Oh yeah, the selection, like, rectangle is just... I can see on the right of the continue every once in a while. Yep, there it is. Yeah, this might... this might crash. This might crash. I mean, it hasn't yet, but it <laughs> might. Um... Detected hidden railway spikes. Okay. Ooh. Does the railway gun exist in this game? Uh 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 baseball bat. Hello again. You wish to speak with me? Okay. Oh, still hasn't crashed yet. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Tell me about the family. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now, to find us and become part of the family. What is this place? This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. I have to go now. It was good talking to you. Okay. On to the next. Oh. It's disappearing, the locked average. Maybe that's why, like, boxes and stuff are saying that they have. that they're empty or not empty when they <laughs> are or are not actually, like, one or the other. Uh, is there a trader down here? Because if I can trade some stuff, then this I could get rid of this. And you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. Greetings Alan. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? What is this place? Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my problems. Tell me about well, the family. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Okay. Guess I'll see you around. Oh. So it had been. That's right, America. I've never seen you around here before. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. What is this place? Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. Tell me about the family. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. Have to go there. I understand. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this a traitor? Uh, Carl. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit too. Know what I mean? <laughs> what is? Oh, oh. Scrolling up and down, the words are starting to overlap. 
Who? Tell, tell me about the family. We're the last people you want to mess with. That's for damn sure. What is this place? This place is my place of business. You want to buy something, then buy. If you want to flap your lips, take a hike. Can I see what you have for sale? Come back and see me when I'm minding the store. You better bring caps. There's no handouts to be had around here. Oh. Say it ain't so. Oh, wait. I... Oh, hey there. Oh. <laughs> How's life treating you? Oh, just dandy. I think the new guy is so darn cute. Never had someone so young before in this place. Cool your jets, sweet cheeks. You're jumping from bed to bed faster than a rad roach on a hot plate. You are the biggest Jerry. Huh. I'll be at my store later. Catch me there in the common area. Oh, wait. Till. 37. Oh, hey there. Question is, where is the store? Over there? Hey, pal. What do you need? Can I see what you have? Come back and see. Oh. They get up and sit down. Hey there, how's it going? Oh. Better, I suppose. I think Vance is finally calming down after Carl apologized for all that trouble he caused. It's about time. Carl's gonna get us in trouble. I'll be at my store later. He learns to calm Catch down. me. There in the common area. Question is, when when do you attend to your store? I'll be at my store. Later. Catch me there in the common area. Oh. I'll be at my store. <laughs> I'll be at my store later. Store Catch later. me there Catch in the common area. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, is your store up? Up I go. Please don't take Ian away from us. Oh, hey there. I know take. It's the least I can do. You give so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. Oh, okay. Well. I'll be at my store later. Catch me there in the common area. Catch me in my store later. When do I'll you... I'll be at my store later. Catch me there in the common area. I was wondering if we could speak a moment. Yeah, yeah. What is it now? I will make this as clear as possible, Carl. Never. You disobey my laws once more, and you will be out of Moresti for good. Yeah, I've heard this song and dance before. What good is it if we can't really kick those humans where it hurts? That is not how the family operates, and you know it. Now do not test my patience on this subject. All right, all right. Don't get your nuts in a twist. I'll be at my store later. 
catch me there. In the I'll be in my store later. Catch me there in the common area. You wish to speak with me? I want to speak. I want to speak with Carl. I wanted to sell. I wanted to sell my my stuff. I don't know what I have, okay. but I wanted to try I'll to sell it. Be at my Catch store later. Okay. I'll just wait. There we go. Is this your store to to be at later? Is this your store later? Oh hey. You gonna gawk all day or you gonna buy something? If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beat standing there drooling all over the merchandise. Okay. Items, weapons. What do I have? Arrow. Oh, well, I guess I have this now. Let me see. Jumpsuit, security armor. Sell this one. So I have armor and helmet still. I'll sell two of those, I guess. Here we go. Carton of cigarettes. <laughs> now what do you have? Bottle cap mine. Combat knife. Combat shotgun. Frag grenade nine. Hmm. There we go. Laser rifle. Another missile launcher. Well, I guess I'll buy it to repair. Here you can you can have two of these frag mines. You can have all my frag grenades. And a laser pistol. Um I'll just sell this one and buy this one. Anything else to sell currently at the moment? Oh, this takes up weight, so. Do you have stim pack? Oh, you have 34 stim packs. Three. I. One more. Okay. Except. And I have 35 stim packs again. Items. Go back to misc. Pack of cigarettes. Free war money. Um, turpentine. Sensor module. Scrap metal. Mm. Oh no. Second. There we go. Get back the scrap metal.
Um, I don't think I have anything else to sell otherwise. There we go. Now, just go back to... You know what? Ammo. Alt rifle. Get more stim packs. Five. Mm, four. Nope. Okay. There we go. Jet and Stealth Boy. Still have ten millimeter ammo. Oh, <laughs> more missiles. You can buy one missile. buy two more rounds of 556 five, and and darts still don't know what to use darts for Two more rounds of five five six. There now I have zero caps. Business with you? I have to go now. Say it ain't so. Save in this area. Actually, create a new save as well. While looking down this area. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. What is this place? Tell me about the family. Okay, what is this place? It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance I said that. Tell me about the family. How about just the coolest gang this side of the US? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. I have to go now. Bye, sweetie. Please don't take Ian away from us. I don't remember who Ian is to take Ian away. Locked very easy. Oh, there we go. I saw hidden. Blood pack two.
Hmm. You know what? Well, now it's open, but... I'm just gonna leave those in there, because my... My inventory again. It's at 209 out of 210. Wait. Please don't take Ian away from us. I haven't been up here yet. Scrap metal. Conductor. Oh. I didn't even realize I have... I didn't realize I still had these. Okay. I'm gonna go sell them. Oh wait, maybe I stole them from here, so oh, I can still sell the conductor. Okay, now 19 more caps. Just gonna save them now. Doing business with you. I'm gonna do double save. Almost, almost nine hours. Almost nine hours. Hello again. You wish to speak with me? Locked hard. Now we'll go back up here. Let's see. How much weight is that? Okay, so that's the same as what I had, so... Alright. Acquires key. Keep out by order of the DC Transit Authority. Okay. What's the big idea? still has not crashed yet. Oh. 
cola. I'll get rid of one scrap metal in there. You know, I don't think I have... Okay. I was gonna say, maybe I haven't checked down that way, but... go back I think I'm gonna go back to megaton and I think I think that might be that might be it gonna sell sell my misc items and probably call it there over here. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm over encumbered because I picked up the mine. Uh-oh. Well, now I can repair this, so. Alien power cell. following the trail of alien power cells. <laughs> if I can find where it... Oh. I was going to say if I can find where it leads to, but... I don't know. Sensor module, paint gun, railway spikes, tool cabinet. I don't see thing to collect. Sensor modules. My inventory wasn't already uh, one one weight away. Die. <laughs> die. 
Okay. Ouch. leave the power cells because I don't know where they lead to so I'll leave them for next time world map or few megaton there we go now I'll go sell what I able to good to see you Good to see you, Steena. Okay. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. I'm gonna go to the saloon. Or you know what? Uh, repair skill 30 or higher. That's right. Oh, there we go. I forget when I got. Did I get repair skill? Uh. -huh. I appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. Oh, it'll take a master plumber to fix it. Okay, attempt to fix it. Oh. Okay, well, one. So then I might actually repair those before I'm done. I can find where the other two are. If it is actually just three. Greater side supply. Attempt to fix it. There we go. One more. Now that one... I have no clue where it is. So, I'll just go find the saloon. Armory. Use key. When did I have that? Oh no, he followed me. Please. Now I activated it outside of the room too, so. Yep, here it comes. Here it goes. I do have flamer fuel now though. Waiting. I don't know. I don't know if I'm stopping at nine hours. I don't know. Uh, here goes again. I'm gonna prepare this time. Actually, just inject myself three times. Items, aid, strength, and endurance. Uh, I'll just do medics. There. I didn't want to do that. Weapons. Flamer. Okay. I 
I'll try again. <laughs> Not enough. Okay. Go. Follow me. Ah! I guess I'm gonna get ready and go in there, because if I fight out here, I think they might just attack me for doing that, so... Put on the security helmet. Uh, buff out. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know what to fight with. Sniper rifle, 17 damage. Hold off shotgun, 23. Oh wait, I'm going in. Um, the other one, I don't think exploded. Uh... Oh. Please. Ooh. Stand behind the locker until you get close enough. Okay. On fire. <laughs> Prepare this one. Laser pistol, hunting rifle. Ooh, okay. I did it. The question is, do I get in trouble now for going outside after doing it? Oh, okay. I guess not. Shotgun shell. Another sawed off shotgun. I'll repair mine with it. I didn't even think I forgot I even got that other shotgun. Repair this one. 23. 23. Same, okay. But this can hold more than <laughs> more shells. The only thing about it is its condition. Shotgun. There we go. Bobby pin. Average. I don't have skill. Armory terminal. 75. Carton of cigarettes. Coca Cola. Okay. Well. I did that, I guess. Um. I didn't know that was going to happen, but now I know, I guess. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body 
into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom. Whoa. I didn't know I could go out that far with it. On your unworthy servant. We stay true until the day of division. There he was until a race car driver. Where did she go? Because I could trade with her. Once I find the saloon again, I can go there, but... Lucy West's house. Jericho's house. Empty house requires key. Back this way then, I think. Jericho's house. Stop by Jericho's. Do I have enough, like, negative karma to have Jericho be, be a companion? I don't know. I'll go... I'll go find Jericho again. See West's house. Okay, so up here, I think. I think it is actually just back this way. Nathan. Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Why do you support the Enclave? Who are the Enclave anyway? They're the American government! The Eagle! People come Weaver! The more perfect union! Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty, and my duty, to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Sure, why? You're right, my country deserves my unthinking and unquestioning support. Are you kidding? It's the duty of a citizen to question his government. I couldn't possibly care less about governments or presidents. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Probably three. Well, we can't all care. Besides, why should we have to? That's what the government is here for, to take care of that stuff. You've never, if you've never seen the Enclave, how do you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything, so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. I have to go now. Take care. Okay. Let me see. Common house. Oh wait, this goes into the saloon, I believe. Yep. Alter. Yeah, what is it? Mm, okay. What's it to be? Hmm. 
there. Don't shoot. Please, just tell me what you want. Anything for you, friend. Here we go. Carton of cigarettes, conductors, sensor module, uh, Do I have anything else that I can just sell while I'm here? Mm. Weapons... Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, except there we go. See you soon, drunkie. Don't hit me. Medex has worn off. Buff out has worn off. Save. Oh. Um. That auto save. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just double save then. Just in case. Okay. Well. Not, not quite nine hours, eight hours and 52 minutes, but, um, I think, I, I think I might, might end it here, uh, can I get, let me see if I can get a room or something. Well, hello there, Mr. Dangerous. What can I do for you? Mm. Do I have... I don't even know if I have enough caps, to be honest. No, I do. I don't know if I should do that, though. Don't look at me like that. Hey, be more careful! Where is... Jericho, hey though. Glad you're back. <laughs> I'll wait seven hours. Jericho is not in here. This is Jericho's house. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. No offense, kid. Oh, no, not enough. Wait, my karma is too high? Been a while. You need something? No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type. I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I still have to get my karma to be lower, so then I'll just save here again. And, okay. Well, I tried before I got off. But, yeah. The game, <laughs> the game was displaying the icons, but it did not, it did not crash, so. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um... I don't know when I'm going to be... I don't know if I'm going to be back to doing it again. Uh, like... Like, I don't know when I'm going to be back to stream, I guess. But, anyway... It was, it was, it was pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty fun times. Uh, but, uh, thanks for, thanks for, uh, sticking around, if you did, and, uh, or checking out the stream, but, uh, yeah. Oh! You fell asleep. <laughs> Damn, you're still playing. I fell asleep for a while. Enjoyed it. See ya. Yeah, yeah. No. Thanks again for the uh, tips and advice. Um, I went back to Megaton, sold some stuff, tried to see if Jericho would be a companion, but I still have... My karma is still too high, so... Uh, but I think I'm still going to be stealing things or whatever, so maybe, maybe it'll be, you know, low enough for him to, to go with me. So, you know, thanks again, but, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, may or may not be in the the near future i'm not really sure um but yeah anyway see ya okay bye <laughs>